get ready for the only podcast proven to control tartar and fight gingivitis. Nobody likes onions. I'm a guy who had a microphone and a dream growing up in a small town just outside of Lakeland, Florida. The humidity in my eyes, the fat dripping from my skull, and a dream in my in my tiny little pea brain that one day I'd grow up to start a podcast, and one day that podcast would bring down weaker men amongst us and here we are seven 18 years later and uh you know we are barely making a living everybody we are really doing it over here uh holy shit there's so much to go over tonight uh i i don't even know where to start i really don't even know where to start we have so many victories Somebody has updated the Compound Media website to just say programming schedule. (laughs) So that's great. Somebody's listening. You can guarantee E-Rock got chewed out by Kumia himself. You're making me look stupid. Is that how Kumia talks? I don't know. I'm guessing. Anyway, uh, they heard the message. They definitely saw... Somebody named Bex posted a uh, video, a a snippet. By the way, feel free to snip away. I don't know how clipping works. Seems gay. But uh, clip away, have a clip, do a clip. We've made our podcast uh, members only tonight. You don't have to join, of course. I do appreciate every member. We make it affordable. It's $1.99 a month. It's cheap, cheap, cheap. I'm not steel toe. We don't do a $9.99. We're not trying to kill your children. We're not trying to own your firstborn boat. It's all very fair and on the up and up. But we do have a lot of members who have been with us a long time. I want to give them priority in the chat. And if you are willing to join, you know, and you have a spare $2 on you, that's that's enough for me. Uh, that's Egg McMuffin money. That's what we call it over here. Every night I take every $2 that I get donated... And I head over to my local Mac- Mac- McDonald's and I buy as many Egg McMuffins as they'll give me. And they're $1.99 here, so I'm surprised E-Rock didn't just put a under construction banner with a pardon our dust message. Are you a Kumia cuck now? Whoa. Chad and Onions are king. What a time to be alive. There's too many fans here now. Let's talk about Ryan Barassa. If only, huh? Um, so shout out to the new the new members, shout out to the old members, and shout out to the lurkers. You can guarantee Aaron and April are cuddled in their bed tight watching on their iPad 2. Um If you do join, you will pop up on the screen and be annoying just like this. Also, we do have our Chad Tipbot in effect. Chad. Uh, Sorry, Aaron Tipbot in effect where you'll be able to uh, 
Go to nobodylikesonions.com slash tips and whew, creep me out with a message that'll be read against my will. I've got to bring up my my backyard here. I, I'm afraid my whole yard's going to catch on fire. I'm smoking a pork shoulder. It's been on since 3 p.m. And uh, I was afraid the fire was getting a little out of control. I got to keep an eye on it. I pride myself on my meats over here. I make really tasty meats. I make really tasty meats. Um, so, yeah. I got to keep an eye on that. We're good right now. We're at 220 degrees. That's exactly where I like her. This could be a long one tonight. And to tell you the truth, at about 3 a.m., if we're still going, it's 11 now. It's 1030 now. If we're still going. We'll probably go members only and wait up and watch Steel Toe Live in the morning just to see how insane we can get. I did have a giant carafe of cold brew coffee, so I should be wired. I am not consuming alcohol. Soft shoe went on a big block spree today, including myself. Okay, I don't know what any of that means. It sounds like code, and that's not what we do here. So, rein her in, bring her down, bring her, br bring it, head it to the, great. Um, so much stuff to talk about tonight. So many wins. Again, Kumia just updating his website means he heard me mention it. I wonder if this is fixed, though. You, the, one of the funniest things they said, if you click on the YouTube channel, it just goes to some guy named Mike Barrett's YouTube with four vacation videos. <laughs> Salute, everybody. Welcome to the show. Can you believe if you click on a, this is compound media, you click on their website, you click the YouTube and it just goes to Mike Barrett, 4418 with 10 subscribers and four videos. And you know, like no one is pet. No one is paying attention over there. You think Opie's out of it. Jesus Christ. This also makes you believe like no one's there. No one's going to the website. No one's visiting it. You know, God forbid someone should look up some analytics on this domain and see how many people are watching or visiting these websites. Because it's not a lot. I'll have you know, it's not a lot. Um, I better get a new pack of smokes then. <laughs> yeah, you better. Thanks, Patrick. No more of these radio dweebs. Yeah, I guess going members only in the chat makes it uh, a little more radio dweeb. -y. But but again, it's not, It's one ninety nine to join. So any asshole with their mom's credit card or someone else's, right, Chad? Ha! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> hey, uh... Do hit the like button if you're watching or the dislike button. You know, I don't really care. I just I just want to feel again. So that would be great. Um oh god, we just have I like I just don't even hello. I just don't even know where we begin tonight. I guess what I want to say first of all is, you know, I I despise Twitter. I don't really spend a lot of time on Twitter, but a lot of these the MLC, Dabbleverse, Steel Toe, Dorks, they're all over on Twitter. So I I'm interacting on Twitter. And uh and welcome to you if you're one of these dorks. I don't give a fuck. But um one of these guys posted a picture outside of Aaron's house. Allegedly. I, I don't know if it's legit or not, but they posted a picture outside of Aaron's house. And a picture of his Chevy Civ Silverado, double cab, big old honking truck. This guy's got expensive, new. But either way, I do want it to be known just to my people and very clear. Like, we're not making a man end himself. You know, that's not what we're trying to do here. 
Um, you know, bonus. No, just kidding. But uh, don't be going to guys' houses and taking photos of their home and their vehicles or following them or, you know, staking them out. You know, everybody has a right to go to bed and feel safe in their house. Trust me, there's nothing you're going to do to Aaron M. Holt to intimidate him more than he already is. Boy, is this guy on the run. I've never seen a man crumble quicker. What a weak, weak man. And these people have been toying with him for months. You know, I come in here and go like, I just line up my scope, check it out, fire one shot, and it's like, this guy's down. This guy is down. He is fucked. <laughs> and maybe he's going to bleed out slowly. You guys don't believe me. Maybe you think I'm kidding. I'm going to make some predictions tonight. We'll see how how real they they become. And uh we'll see where it lands. But I do want to be very clear. Like I don't endorse people doxing him and post like posting pictures outside the dude's house and shit. Like that's insane. That's that's insane nutty zumok like behavior and you need to knock it off um let the man just just sit there and have you know what's worse let the man sit there with his fucking wife and just deal you know what i mean that's that's hard that's enough trust me oh and i used to get on the pests about that back in the day as long as everything is public it's all fair game yeah, look, we're after the Steel Toe Morning Show, whose hosts happen to be April and Aaron Imholt. I do it in the order of importance. And um, so that's what we're targeting here. That's what we're making fun of here. The public Steel Toe Morning Show. Do not be going after these people. It's not appropriate. And it's, you know, elevate yourself. Also, everybody like attacking people with like, Posting pictures of their kids or, like, transgender jokes. Elevate yourself just a little bit. Try to do better, you know, because you can. Hey, I need Earl Skakel to stop fucking messaging me in the middle of a show. I'm doing shows. I know you're watching, you psychopath. So get so get with it, all right? So, guys, behave. Try to conduct yourselves... In a manner above. Steel Toad doesn't have a code of ethics. Steel Toad is, is, you know, gaslights himself on how he's behaved. As you can see from videos we posted. He's telling everybody I'm clout chasing, trying to get on his show. I posted absolute proof DMs from him showing he's tried to get me on his show, not vice versa. And you've all seen the clip where he's like, I've never, every time Stuttering John's transgender kids break bring up i say nobody's business and then you see him go they're transgender because you're probably a bad dad and turned them transgender it's like okay that's not a good look and by the way i'm not against the transgender joke i had somebody comment on a video today they were like i liked your videos but this calling him transphobic is over the line it's like that's it's not even about that like i'm not against the transphobic joke i'm against him saying i never said that I, you know, almost every time you'll hear me say, I never said that or I never did that, I'll go like, I don't think. Dear God. You know, I've done 50 hours in the past week and a half. So that's more than Steel Toe can do in his goddamn sleep. That doesn't even make sense as a statement. You know what I mean? But fuck you. Um, so that out of the way, you know, I do want to fucking destroy this show. <laughs> To all the people, you know, we got a lot of really low IQ simps out there who seem to enjoy harping on like, oh, you're you're a narc, you're like canceling this guy, like mind you, but like, what do you care? Like, who cares if he's following the rules? It's like, let me be very clear. Um, this guy in his own house breaking the law, this guy just breaking the law, you know, in a victimless way, I have no cares about. I also don't care about a man who innocently, accidentally runs a contest where he's breaking the rules and isn't aware of it. Ignorance. Even though that is not a defense, according to the courts. 
What I'm against is a man who's taking advantage of an even stupider population who's not aware of what's going on. This prize night is illegal. This prize night is not fair. This prize night breaks almost every YouTube violation of, of running a contest and giveaway. There is. Including the provision that they check their, their local laws. Oh, fuck. Something's happening. Fuck, my grill is 360 degrees. Uh, you try grilling. Um, this is not good. Like, I gotta go. I will have to run and leave this show. Woo. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, that's not good. You want to burn up some pork real quick? You heard? Sorry, this is a horrible distraction and not a great way to run a show. Um, and The April Only Show was solid. To be fair, Kumia said it. I don't know what you're talking about. You, I want you guys to understand. You know, I, I think you're a smarter group of people. So please understand that you're delayed. And by the time I catch the chat, it's even more delayed. So like Kumia said it. Could mean anything. So just try to remember that and write a complete sentence. Try not to use pronouns in my chat. That's what I say. I don't need a lot of it's or they or him or that. You know, let's try to use a full sentence over here. Burn everything. Now I know what you're talking about, okay? Jesus, I'm getting it down. All right, fuck. That was wild. That was wild. I got it down under 300 now. It's a pellet grill, but I'm insane. I build a I build a separate fire in the cook chamber over on the side, and sometimes when the pellet grill fans spin up too much and give it too much oxygen, my little side fire will ignite and just start burning the fuck out of everything. I was referring to Kumia talking about John's kids. Kumia said it to be fair. That doesn't mean, like, look, again, I'm not against the statement. I'm against the guy saying, you know, as cringe as it is to mark out the Kumia. Like, I'm against the guy saying, like, I never said that. We're dealing with a guy, you know, I, one thing I'd like to talk about tonight is just Aaron Imhole as a person. Not that we know or that we have a lot of information. You know, one day maybe we'll get his parents on the phone and get an interview, but just the kind of guy he must be. This is a guy who I I was watching something he did where he, they asked him if he had ever his, he lived in Minnesota his whole life. And he said, yeah, I've never left except for vacations. It's like that's a statement by a very simple man. I've never left except for vacations. It's like, holy shit. Holy shit. Do you call it a big boy airplane? What, what's going on? You know what I mean? Like, so we're dealing with a very simple guy and not, you know, that's, I'm not insulting you if you've never been on a plane or left your hometown. That's great. You know, I hope you and your goat are happy. But, um, this guy's a, this guy's a simple guy. This guy's a, an easygoing, happy-go-lucky guy. And I imagine that. Um, he has no con, he started doing, well, he's 36. So 10 years ago, 2013, he was 26. And I think he said he's been doing a show for nine years or 10 years. So he's been on the air until 2020. And then he switched over to the internet. Now, when you listen to the old tapes, it's very clear to me um, that he is imitating Opie and Anthony and Mike David from Red Bar Radio. I'm able to pick that up, 
not only as one of Mike's survivors, <laughs> but I've known Mike David since 2005. Um, he's got a very particular radio voice and style that he does. There's a lot of layers to that guy, but he has a very particular style of speaking. And it's changed over time, but when I listen to that recording of of Aaron getting fired for the show that he did that he got fired for, I hear I hear that pattern. I hear him copying that. And mimicking it. And not in a weak or roundabout way. Like, it sounds like like he's, we're bullying today. Like, that kind of, like, punchy. I mean, it's a dead, he's dead copying. And then now, you go to now, like, go go watch the, the, the uh, Steel Toe Morning Show Kumia special. Which is such an insane name. And... He's completely copying Kumia now. Like, this guy's a chameleon grifter, the likes of which we've never seen. So, it's very interesting to me that what we're dealing with here isn't your typical YouTuber. And every YouTuber and every podcast guy and every, you know, podcast and show and all this stuff has their own journey, has their own style, has their own you know experiences some people like have no idea how to deal with trolls some people have no idea how to deal with hate comments it it what we're seeing literally is like a man thrown into the internet who had who is just like what the fuck is happening <laughs> this is a guy who like started broadcasting on the internet 2 years ago and is out of his fucking depth immediately. He got some popularity. Luckily, his heroes are complete fucking losers now. So he was easily able to get their attention. Opie and Anthony. And now he th he's propelled himself to this thing where he's getting a, you know, a few hundred viewers on live shows. And he's let it go to his head. He's got a big head about it. He thinks he's big shit. He started getting thousands of views on his clips. And he thinks he's big shit. The problem is, and and the, unfortunately, everything I say will get, get um, labeled as just a hater who doesn't understand it. But know this, Steel Toe. Again, you know, I'm very comfortable in where I'm at with my show. With what I do, it's so loose. I can do anything I want. We can spend a week on you. We can tomorrow go on to something else. It doesn't matter. As a matter of fact, my video on Opie has far surpassed anything I, you know, about you in the past week. So, you know, you can say I'm dependent on you or I'm clout chasing. I was here, you know, before you were in college doing this. <laughs> And I'll be here when you're spit out the anus of YouTube in, in a week or so for what you're doing. And it doesn't bother me that you're bigger or smaller or had a broadcast career in the 200th biggest market in the country, which is damn near the bottom. Um, you know, none of that matters. It what What's funny is that You've jumped into this and have such a weird, you know, I don't know what, I, it's it's tough to figure out with you. Because I don't know if you were bullied. I don't know if you're popular. I don't know if you're trying to overcompensate for something. You have a, you have a giant double cab Chevy Silverado truck, brand new. I imagine you got that during the pandemic and the payments are 900 a month. <laughs> So I get the grift. I get the urgency, man, with the what with the child support payments, the truck pay payments. But the arrogance in you and the sheer naive overconfidence 
is baffling. Like, here's the thing. If you're a radio guy, you know the laws when it comes to pay for play and payola and contests and giveaways. You know this. As a radio man, if you were on a real station, which it seems like you weren't, according to Chad Zumach, you'd know that when you say a contest, you have to at least tell people where they can find the rules online. At least. So I get it. You, you've you got a, a bunch of local yokel Midwestern dummies, just bored boomers and, and low IQ thought soldiers hanging around you that haven't questioned what the fuck you're doing for eight months. But those of us that have brains and, and have our heads turned on, I, you know, what did it take? It took me one night of looking at what you were doing and going, wait a minute. This is illegal. <laughs> and I let you know, and just so you know, like if it was me and I was, you know, dumb as fuck like you, I, and someone came to me and said, hey, man, you're running like an illegal contest. You're breaking these rules. And they told you specific rules you were breaking. My answer wouldn't be like, we looked up the YouTube rules. My answer wouldn't be, this guy's an idiot. He thinks we're running an illegal contest. I would look into it a little bit and not just be brazenly doubling down on my ignorance. It's really crazy. So and now they've just gone into this. We're cutting Patrick off today. He blocked me on Twitter, which is nuts because you know the guys on other accounts check. Like the, the, I, I couldn't imagine having a fake account. Unless it was absolutely necessary. Like somebody was actively preventing. Like when Ty Rivera, we have to go like, Ty Rivera blocked me. So it's like, okay, I got to go on this fake page I made up and look at your shit. Or Josh Denny, it's like, okay, I'll just not be logged into Twitter or open incognito mode and look at your tweets. It's like, what are you doing? I understand if it's like I'm bugging you constantly, but but like I don't tweet you. Now, Aaron Imhold, I do tweet. I want people to find this stuff. But I want, it to, I want the people who accuse me of being a narc and shitty and why do I care to know that this is a utilitarian endeavor. This is more people are being hurt by Aaron Imhold for dishonest reasons. And it's all coming to light. There's so much coming out. We're finding out now that like... None of the money he makes goes to the co-host. He had to fire co-host because he lost a six hundred or eight hundred dollar a month sponsor. He was only paying the co-host fifty bucks a week with sponsor money. Everything else goes to him. We're gonna do a little more in-depth calculation. You know, I was making the assumption when I said fifteen to twenty thousand, as Kevin Brennan so eloquently pointed out today. You know, what if he's not hitting these goals every day? So I'd like to go through like a week of his shows, morning and night, and really count up every, every, ah, uh, oh, thanks, uh, Jeep ZJ 101 is gifting a membership, and Walker 2508 received it. How do you like that, everybody? Generosity, huh? <laughs> so, you know, a ride with it. Stop, stop giving, stop donating money in the thing. We're trying to do stuff. <laughs> doesn't even make sense um so i would i would like to do that i think we should add add up you know everything they make in a week and really figure out what these guys are bringing in because it's probably you're probably right maybe i'm overestimating it i'll tell you this much ain't nobody bu buying those hoodies <laughs> they have they have some of the shittiest merch as opposed to this program which has great merch over at nobody likes onions dot com slash store and you might be saying patrick you're not wearing a hat tonight i wanted to rub it in i have hair you know not all of us are balding my hair's coming down look at this it's like encroaching it's it's moving down soon i'll just be chewbacca in this bitch <laughs> 
He thought he would call Chad mentally ill and say he was having psychological breakdowns and thought there would be no blowback. It's unbelievable. I mean, Chad is mentally ill and having a psychological breakdown. <laughs> Almost any day of the week. Try to find him. Um, but I just, you know, I've been what I've been thinking about a lot lately is Aaron M. Holt's life. <laughs> That's an insane statement. And I've just been thinking um, how – I've been trying to think of some predictions about what's what's happening. And I think Patrick has a proceeding hairline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's all going to unravel. I, I don't see how. You know, Kevin Brennan told him when, when he was on Kevin Brennan's show – Doing this with your woman is a mistake. You know, I, I had an, a girlfriend on in 2007 on this show. And it always led to strain. Um, it just is, I'm telling you, like it doesn't work. And you've got to really factor in all the variables here. you got to really think about everything going on. April is, oh, uh, <laughs> April is um, 27, 28 years old. You know, when Snapchat came out, this bitch was 17. And she's grown up. She's t If she's 27, 28 now, and she's part of that generation, she's, you hear it in everything she says. There's no confidence. This is not a strong-willed woman. This is a vocal fry, shy, hometown girl. And what would possess Aaron, other than just the first pussy in his life ever, to Not only settle down with this chick, I get it, you know, young pussy, dumb guy, lock it in. But um, to put her on the show, who was his, like, I guess on the air his co-hosts were Corey Adam and Johnny Crutches, and then there, and there was some old guy who was on on a video I saw. That's the one who got fired, I guess, when they lost their sponsor. But it's like, I don't know. Johnny Crutches seems fine, but like super low energy. And Corey Adam is just, you know, built like a Roomba and as funny as one. And the other old guy was just kind of like out of it, you know, and most of them are just staring into the distance. Thanks for joining up, Stormy. Just staring into the distance while he begs for money. And I, I didn't know this, but people are saying that he like, um, <laughs> people are saying that he like at the end of the shows, if he doesn't have his goal, he like melts down and starts screaming and like having panic attacks about the money. So there's a lot of clips on Reddit on the Steel Toe Boring Show Reddit. Look that up. They have a lot of great stuff. So I want to watch a lot of that tonight. I want to watch the openings of a lot of the recent shows and just kind of address what he's doing to his audience because what he's doing to his audience is completely shutting out the outside world. They've shut down their Reddit. They don't allow cross-posting. They've they've shut down their chat room. They have 20 mods in there. You can't say a million words are on a blacklist. The minute anybody mentions Chad or Ashley or me or the Onions or the contest or prize night, they're banned from the chat, whether they super chat or not. So it is quite the little M. Night Shyamalan's village they're building over there of dumb out of it people who aren't aware of the world around them and if you ask me it makes 
what he's doing even worse. You know, it's bad enough that he's selling gift cards under the guise of giving them away. It's bad enough that he's telling his chat that he's having free drawings when none of the drawings are free. There's not one free way to get into these drawings at all. There's not a free, like, how? 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 Another gift membership. Thanks, Jeeps. Jeep, Jeeps, Jeeps. Get out of here. Um, so it's, it's all very, it's all very, very suspicious. More comes to light that, that, uh, the, the owner of Stoney's bar and keys made while you wait is winning the cash drawings. And, you know, apparently they're saying like, oh, he didn't, he didn't get, he didn't, uh, keep the cash. He gave it to another member, but it's like, why is he even being considered for the drawing? The owner of the sponsor and how cucked is this sponsor just standing by while, you know, the guy he gives gift cards to basically sells them in front of them. It's so insane. It's really insane. So this goes deep. He's hiding it. He's panicking. This, as I pointed out, is a big source of money for him monthly. It's no coincidence this happens on the last weeknight of the month. He needed the money for the first of the month to pay the baby mama. <laughs> he got a baby mama. The mama needed the money. He got a grift of the people to get the money for the baby the mom. <laughs> so he's, you know, he's raking in fifteen hundred bucks on a prize night. Even more if the stupid winner decides to opt to not take the cash and trade it for a VIP membership. Meanwhile, I've never I've never seen someone crash and burn so bad. She's just a small town girl born and raised in South Detroit. She's never seen a city like Detroit. I've seen multiple people give 250 for VIP for all the merchandise. It's wild. Yeah, that, imagine all your steel toe gear showing up. Uh, did you have Aaron calling himself daddy today? Did you hear Aaron calling himself daddy today? Cringe as fuck. Really, I didn't hear that. Um, rumors are hilarious when they spread scat all over. Who calls it scat? Oh, guano. Um, wow, the village, great reference and metaphor. <laughs> I mean, but it is. He's not only fucking these people over, he's keeping them from hearing the information about what he's doing. The only, the only, you know, salient thing is that he's like too dumb. He can't ignore his chat. He's, he doesn't even try because, you know, I've got people messaging me real deep details of what's going on with him who who he trusts so he doesn't trust his own mods anymore he's questioning everything and he's glued to that chat april told me mods ban people if they mention chad <laughs> that's so insane so glad i clipped that i don't know what you're talking about but clip away mama how do i get the membership i don't know contact our tech support line okay uh, April's forehead says, wait until he brings on Lemmy Loco. Uh, we're going to talk about it all tonight. We're here for the haul, ladies and gentlemen. So strap in. Um, we got a lot to watch. We got a lot to get to. So happy compound media's fixed up the place. What a bunch of fucking dorks. His chat are so blind, they want to be socially accepted by him so badly, and they have no morals. It's just like, you know, ugh, I, I don't know. It's very, again, you know, this is why I say to people who, who are going around saying, like, Patrick's doing the Lord's work, Patrick's the king, Patrick's the guy. It's like, that's not unhealthy. I'm not your king. I'm not trustworthy. Don't form an unhealthy relationship with me. Put me on when you're bored and want something in the background. That's what I'm good for. You know, it's late at night. Pop it on. 
You're at work. Pop it on. I'm a pop it on show. This isn't the news. We're probably not lying to you as much as the news. Um. So, yeah. Agent O infiltrated Steel Toe now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting reports from all kinds of people. So, we've got a lot. Um, we worship you, Patrick. Yeah, don't do that. It's not good. Um, the reports are coming in thick and strong tonight. Somebody from April's high school, who she went to high school with, tweeted me tonight and said, Patrick, this is really sad. I went to high school with April. She was always such a very, you know, lovely, nice girl. She loved animals. She wanted to be a veterinarian. And like, look at her now trying to be like a radio badass. This is, she doesn't have it. It sounds like she didn't go to college. She doesn't have, you know, any skills for this. She doesn't have a thick skin. She's not used to being in the public light. The public light. Fuck the public light. This is the internet. This bitch is going to get buried. <laughs> and it's sad. And by the way, it's not going to be by me. I'm not saying all the horrible shit. I'm saying you're bad. You're bad at radio. That's that's what I'm saying. I'm saying this was gonna hurt your relationship. I have more experience in this than almost anyone on the planet. Believe, believe. I I, I you know this bitch is 27, 28. She's got a short attention span because of her generation. Even out there in the sticks. She's working at a factory. She listens to the radio. She loves Aaron. He's so funny. That's how they meet. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. She was a listener. Now, as a guy who's dated about nine listeners of this show <laughs> over the course of his life, whose wife is not one of them, if she ever heard this... <laughs> She thinks this is gay. She's like, you're going to go up and play radio now, fat boy? You know, she thinks this is dumb. She's not wrong. Um, so, hey, I wouldn't even want to be with a woman who thought this was cool or was into this. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But, you know, if you're a woman who thinks this is cool and you're into this, don't be with a guy who does. Balance, balance yourselves. So start thinking about this life. You know, Chad's 36. He's, he's rapidly balding. And that, you know, I assume it's falling out. It didn't just get burned off because he flew too close to the sun. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so she's a young woman with her whole life ahead of her. She marries this shitty radio DJ who's, by the way, you know, again, is getting 500 live viewers and thinks he's made it. <laughs> and um, is clueless. He's li We're literally watching a single-celled paramecium crawl out of the ocean. We're watching a baby fledgling trying to figure it out. The banner, the lighting, the broadcast skills, the graphics, the logo, the merch, the website, the understanding of the internet. All of it. Everything is Baby Shark. Baby Shark. That is all baby shark shit. Now, look around in 2023. We're not doing banner backgrounds anymore. We're not doing fluorescent lighting on the ceiling fan in our basement anymore. 
It's very, very basic, bitch. Come over to a program like this with graphics and sound and fun! Daddy shock the do 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 Daddy shock the do 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 Daddy shock the do 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 Daddy shock. You know? Step it up a notch. It's a new world, honey. We were doing that literally when when O and A were doing it on Pal Talk. It looked better than your program looks today. Dial it in a little bit. This show is offensive. If your wife hears it, she's leaving. Shaka uh, Fun April says the fun Aaron does his fun blackface. <laughs> yeah, like what is that? Again, we made a lot more racial jokes back in the beginning of podcasting. Lord knows there's some N words that have flied out of this guy's mouth. And again, my claim to fame, Nutella blackface. You know, I've done it all. Today, cringe. Unless there's a point. He's just doing it for, like, shock value, which, again, check your watch, dog. You're living in the past, bro. Ah, it's 800 if you include Rumble. I went over and looked at some of the Rumble videos. They have, like, eight views, 14 views. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not a fan, just a listener, yo. That's a healthy way to be. Just be a listener. Just put it on. Don't be a fan of things. <laughs> um, one celled organism, nothing smaller. How did we uncover the shallow onion layers of steel toe so quickly? I don't know. People aren't dialed in. I sniffed these motherfuckers out. Ty Rivera took two years to break. Steel toe took under two weeks. And for people who don't know what's going on, after all this chest pounding, after all the fighting back, after all the gaslighting of his fans and himself saying, I'm crazy, they do a legal fun, fun contest, they do a good, he's erased all of his prize night videos from YouTube. Everyone, as of yesterday, when I was on the MLC podcast, he erased all of his prize night videos now why would an innocent guy that runs a fun legal giveaway do that why would a man who's handing out selling gift cards to a guns and ammo and range firearm place against youtube's rules very clearly why would he make all those videos private or delete them why would he do that by the way are they deleted or private do we know But Aaron, you know, do you, I'm not everyone. Again, y you show your cards at every fucking turn. You, you, you're you're so new to this and so dumb. You think we're all as dumb as you? Do you think nobody grabbed those videos? I made a ten minute video of you, you know, begging for money on prize night. Do you not think I have that video? Do you not think before we started going after prize night to show that you break the law and dupe hundreds of innocent people in your chat as you lie to them for your grift, for your, I don't know what, truck payment, ex-wife payment, current wife payment. I don't know, you know, not my business, but fucking over people is, fucking over people is my business. I consider myself, you know, the cold brew coffee zilla. Not as organized, not as expensive of a studio, not necessarily getting a lot of uh, attention, but enough to bring down a dummy. Enough to bring down a dummy. I've been doing this a lot longer than you. We have the videos, Aaron. And because you seem to have lost them, don't worry. I'm sure those will be up uh, on YouTube again soon. So don't worry about it. Or maybe we'll just email them to YouTube. And again, for all the people going like, Patrick's narking, what a piece of shit. Yes! Fuck that guy. Fuck him. Fuck him. I don't like scam artists. This guy, just we were saying today, like this guy's the same as a, a charlatan preacher. This guy's the same as a snake oil salesman. Why not just do a show that people want to watch? Why not just do a show that earns enough fans that it deserves? Why not just be happy with where you're at? You have to do this big grift thing, this begging show. All you've said since I fucking met you, dork. 
is that you do a pro show, you do segments. I've heard your fucking cope about how we're not even a bullying show. That's not even like what we really do. It's just a little, you know, we do four hours of radio and then we make fun of somebody for 10 minutes. It's like, motherfucker, I posted a show at 4 a.m. And on your 6 a.m. show, you and Corey Adam pulled it up 15 minutes into your show and watched 40 minutes of it. You don't have any topics. You don't have a plan. You're not better than anybody else. Matter of fact, you're worse. Have you seen the banner? (laughs) So you're not some once-in-a-lifetime talent. You're not even mediocre. You're a cornball radio guy from the past who's trying to adopt this new medium, and you're so far fucking out of it. You don't have a clue what you're doing. And you think you can just erase, you know, like videos from the internet and they're gone forever? Like, oh, no, he he deleted all the prize night videos. So I guess, I guess he never broke the law now. No, no, no. I can't wait for you to go live in five hours and try to spin this either. Like, how does this... How does this go down, by the way, you know? I'd love to know. How how does it go down? You go live this morning. You've had to remove all the prize night videos. Now, maybe you don't mention it, but you're dumb and you can't not mention anything. I imagine if anybody in your chat asks, hey, where are the prize night videos? You're going to ban them immediately. Because you're hiding everything from your fans. It's just insane. People say, uh, Galaga says, we love your mediocrity. Yet never expect more or less from me. You'll always get just a consistent entertainment goo. Just a goo. And by the way, it's all you deserve. What do you think you deserve? What do you think you deserve? A live Chris Rock special all the time? Get out of Grandpa's attic. Uh, welcome Justin, Justin from WKSHP, no, um, was gifted a membership. This Jeep guy is gifted memberships left and right. We're doing it. Everybody reaching the goal, reaching the goal, climb like an eagle. So, um, yeah, I actually... I was trying to copy uh, a file. I'm, I'm working on a project, and I was trying to copy a file to my server today, and I realized that I did so many shows, and they get recorded in, like, Super HD and backed up on my little NAS, my network-attached storage, that it's full. I got to order more 16-gig hard drives for this thing. I've done so many fucking shows that I haven't processed and and crushed down to smaller files that I couldn't copy an audio file to it today. And I I couldn't figure out what the fuck was wrong. And then I went over there and it's like, it's full. (laughs) And I was like, Jesus Christ, somebody has a problem. It's me. So, uh, yeah, let's dive into it. Steel toe boring show Reddit. If you haven't been over here, it's great. Um, they're a good crack team doing stuff they're posting my tweets um we got some vids he's removed the prize shows this video has been removed by the uploader so he's it's not privated he's deleted it he doesn't want anyone to be able to report it he doesn't want youtube to be able to check it out thanks for the join He's removed it completely from the service. So, again, we'll be putting these up, not me. But they're available. Maybe we'll throw them up on Rumble or VidMe or what any of the other ones. But I'm sure a new YouTube channel will pop up, you know, maybe at YouTube.com slash Steel Toe Prize Night. Or 
Maybe a, maybe a new YouTube channel called Steel Toe Morning Show, but Steel is S T A L. Or maybe just Steel Toe Morning Show and just make it S T E E L because you can make a YouTube channel called anything. So he's deleting. He's deleting. What does Aaron do? Do y'all know? I, I, we're going to read these together because I don't know. Do y'all know April does all the chores around the house, including mowing the grass, shoveling groceries, picking up and dropping off his kids, runs his business. He's a diva and she has Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, all our regulars, including Wes, are like, who are all you people? <laughs> fucking internet nerds. But if you're the kind of people who enjoy the unraveling of, you know, deserved psychopaths, welcome to the show. Um, we get what we deserve. Yep. We deserve mediocrity. Uh, welcome, fearless. Scamming people is as American as apple pie. Yeah, look, I'm the I'm running several grifts at this very moment. The point is, none of you know about them. Be better at it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. Don't run a like anyone with any like general knowledge of the law knows you're breaking the fucking law. And they're so, I really think he thought they were good. They're like, we've read the YouTube rules. It's like, right, you're not doing, he makes these arguments like, we read the YouTube rules, so drop it. It's like, right, you're not following any of them. <laughs> it's like, we're saying the same thing. He's like, we run a giveaway for members. If you join the channel for $10 a month, we add you to a drawing to win $100. It's like, right, that's illegal. <laughs> We're saying the same thing. I, right. Yeah, what you said you're doing. You're charging $10, and then those people get entered into a contest, and there's no no purchase necessary because there's no terms where that would even be. Like, so, right. We're saying the same thing. You're running a contest where you give a $100 drawing to your members. Right. You can't do that. And again, if he were like, oh, fuck, I didn't know, like, sorry, it'd be one thing. And we'd probably all move on and laugh at his loss of income. But he wants to be like, fuck you, and then start walling up the world around him. It's like, I've never seen a boxer run from a fight so quickly. But then I remember that he gets knocked out every time he fights. TKO. So, you know, I guess he's just not good at all outside of sanctioned air. You know, if we could just all be in a three foot by three foot box he controlled and nobody was allowed to talk or have any other thoughts or information, then I guess we'd be great. But I was, I was thinking too, like, okay. Kevin Brennan said this today too, uh, but again, I've been thinking a lot about Chad's life or Chad's life, uh, Aaron's life and just what it must be like in that house. You know, it's winter, so it's cold. You got, you got to factor seasonal affective disorder into this. They're cooped up in this house. As opposed to me who just goes live whenever the fuck I want to without a schedule. To my detriment, by the way. Having a schedule, having consistency, that's how you build a following in this business. I'm not worried about you people. I'm burning pork. Um, they're doing five mornings a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four hours, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. They're doing five nights a week. They do Sunday night bonus show for YouTube members. They do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night shows with April. And I was just thinking, you know, all those shows, by the way, I think are at 7 p.m. To, no, to 9 p.m. So if you're April, 
you're not getting a lot of date nights. If you're April, you're not getting taken out to dinner. You're not going anywhere. You heard her talk about the mall the other day, just wistfully dreaming of going shopping and buying a dress. She's like, I never leave the house. It's a pipe dream to go to the mall. She was like, I'd love to go to the mall. There are several stores I would love to frequent, but I never will. <laughs> it's like, fuck. Dreaming of the mall? <laughs> Glass Joe morning show goes down after one punch. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. So, how long do you think... She can be on this hamster wheel. Now, it's been eight months. I don't know how on and off, how much their schedule has changed. But you have Friday and Saturdays off. By the way, you don't even have Friday morning off. The mornings when when um, Johnny Crunches is in there and, and Corey at Madman... She's still, like, upstairs on the computer, moderating the chat, telling, this came out, I, you know, I got three screenshots of April, telling the chat, all their mods telling the chat, don't talk to each other, stop the crosstalk, and only talk to the host, and she says this, you guys are supposed to be talking to the hosts, stop the crosstalk, not each other. Don't talk to each other. Talk to the hosts. Again, these people don't know how the internet works. They're dumb as fuck. Are you trying to, like, build a community or not? Stop the crosstalk. Don't talk to each other. Sean says they haven't cornholed at Raleigh's in months. What does that mean? Imagine making your wife shovel snow. So whether or not he's making her do all that, and who knows, she probably has more upper body strength. The point is, imagine this woman's life. I don't know how many women we have in, in their 20s in the chat, 30s, newlyweds, married women, but imagine if that was your life. Imagine if five mornings and nights a week... Your husband was on the internet streaming. Like, there's a reason I come on at 10. At 8, I'm lay laying on the couch with my wife. I love her. You know, she's not a part of this. This is Ansel Larry. Hi, I'm Ansel. This is Larry. Alex Ansel Larry. <laughs> So I just think about this woman's life and think, okay, like on Fridays they can go out, Saturdays they can go out, but according to all reports, they have shared custody. So, you know, like, so April, like they go pick up the kids Friday after school then they got the kids. I guess you get a babysitter, but like, I guess one of April's friends can come over. And then like they go out in, a, in his big truck, his big Chevy Silverado. Extended cab, dually. Big dick truck. He's got a big dick, ladies. And they just tool around St. Cloud. But the kids are there all weekend. So, like, then the kids leave what? Sunday night? Monday morning? You take them to school? You know, why is April never there for a show? You know, April, like, comes into the Monday night shows every Monday night, 45 minutes late. And he makes the same joke every week. April's taking a shit. You know how Mondays go. And then she shows up around the same time. So then you wonder, is like, is April like 
taking his kids somewhere at the same time every week? Like, what's going on? Does April have a job? And she, like, gets home. Like, what's going on with April and the Monday nights? And we're going to get to it. Um, Aaron and his fans destroy Muttering Jay and all of Twitter. Was this tonight? This might have been tonight. We've got a good one for you today. Boy, no, you don't. I excited. Got so many, so many things from so many different walks of life. Uh, <laughs> after a morning show where we had, uh, you oh, know, fuck. a shitload of stuff going on there, too. Oh, my God. The uh, gods of news and information have been kind to us. Welcome to the program. Uh, Phoenix wants to know, come on, where's the tits? Hey, that's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, yeah, Scarface, we got to get to that. Uh, <laughs> I have been uh, I have been down here in the studio just watching shit go down uh, on Twitter as the Steel Toe audience, I think, officially uh, becomes, I believe they used to call it the huckle bearer of the casket of one muttering Jay. And uh, <laughs> it's, oh my God, they've got him. Uh, I believe Mersh said, quote, unhinged. Uh, he is completely unhinged. He has lost his mind. And I think we have to give credit where credit is due. I think Lemmy started it. She start, She cracked the dam. And then a, it only took like three people total. It didn't take much. And the rest just collapsed the whole goddamn thing. I mean, oh boy. I knew the rope-a-dope worked. I I didn't realize that it caused psychosis. I, you know what? I can't say that that... They caused the psychosis. I think the psychosis was already. So he's already starting the the weird life. So he starts the show coming on and being like, guys, I don't know if you're following the stupid war over there, but we're killing it. All these haters, like we're destroying them. The Steel Toe Morning Show Army. He always like, um... Uh, as Apollonia said, Monday, Friday, Wednesday. <laughs> Look, um, he he did this with Chad, and I thought it was a weird one, but now I understand that this is his M.O. This is a guy, again, who's never been on the Internet. He's so used to being the bully, picking on people. He's the Jocktober guy. He's the guy with the zings. The fact is he isn't. Working with this wife of his made him extremely self-conscious and uh, cuckable. Very cuckable guy. And what we're dealing with is it's just a what, say, almost the same thing that happened with Chad, you know? Once you get in your head, oh, I'm losing, and you start going, everyone's turning on me, they're against me. Your bravado in the in front of that camera for four hours. Now again, this whole chat could turn on me right now and just start to ins insulting me. I, I, you know, I've been burned on my nipples by my dad with cigarettes, so I've had a rough life. And I know what you're thinking. You had the same dad as Chad, but no. Um, it just like what we're dealing with is a guy who's never swam in the in the big pond. Again, you know, this guy ordered a banner and some iron-on patches for hoodies and thinks he's decimating guys who have been doing this for years. And it's like, honey. And he's got this history of every time he starts losing a battle of turning into this victim, he's got a history of telling people to cancel channels. And by the way, to everyone out there just running their mouth full of shit going... Patrick's telling people to cancel. Patrick's telling people to contact the attorney general. I'm not. I'm not telling you to do that. If I was a listener or fan of his, I would. I would. I'm just being honest with you. Now, I understand I'm in a position now where I'm going to be talking to a thousand people who see this video. So, you, I don't. I'm not going to tell you what to fucking do, but I sure don't begrudge you for doing it. Fuck this guy. Like, it's not like he's not doing anything and we're we're running in routes around to, like, get him. 
He's breaking the law blatantly. He shows no remorse for that. And now he's proven that he knows he's breaking the law because he's deleted all the evidence as if the internet forgot. This is going to be this is going to all go very 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 badly for this guy. So I don't know where the cope starts tomorrow, you know, how he comes on, will he even acknowledge that he deleted all those videos or will he still be pounding his chest talking about a big win? He called the I'm just going to take my W and go away. It's like no no no, you don't get to go away and take a W. Like the people who go away are L's. They're L's. You didn't W Chad. You're not Wing me. This, there's no, there's no one who's watching both sides of this and getting all the information, who thinks you're even contending. You know, I don't watch boxing, and I certainly don't do it because I don't have the breath. But however you frame that in boxing terms, you're being beaten the fuck up by everyone. Everyone is fucking you over. <laughs> um, the show sign looks like candy corn. I'd like to see you try it. Aaron is totes cuckable. It wasn't even a mild thrashing. Um, this produced segment brought to you by Rick's new steel toe themed escape room. Bring your own ranch. A hundred percent. Go on, Aaron. Tell us how. Everyone in your chat is destroying the haters. Already there. But I think it was hiding under a thin veneer of, you know, it, it, for, for a year they had picked a good target. And then they picked one that was growing and that people actually like. And th he wasn't getting his way. And I think it kind of fucked him up. It can happen to He's any talking about some guy named Muttering Jay on Twitter. He's got some bitch named Lemmy. I think it's a bitch. <laughs> um... He's got some bitch named Lemmy who's, like, running his chat, who he said the other day was like, Lemmy is destroying everybody who's hating in the chat. It's like, first of all, Lemmy's a mod, so she can just delete someone and destroy them. Second of all, like, she's destroying all the haters with logic. They can't even answer simple questions. It's like, I'm not even going to be beat around the bush. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, Aaron, let's make a video. Aaron M. Holt of Steel Toe Radio. I don't want you to keep saying that people are attacking you because they're haters or they're clout chasing. I have some legitimate questions about the competitions you run on your prize night. You give away $100 cash to a member drawing. I think you do $100 cash uh, for a VIP drawing. And then you do a $250 drawing for $20 sticker purchases, is it? And then you sell your gift cards to guns and ammo stores and Stoney's Bar and Menagerie to your simps in your chat room. I just have like very simple questions about the contest since you said you do follow YouTube's guidelines. Where are your contest rules posted? How do I enter all those competitions without making a purchase? Since they're all free, you say. Like, so how do I how do I do it without PayPaling you money, let's say? And if I do win and I send you my information, how do you safeguard that information to make sure that my data is protected? I'd love to know your privacy policy around the competition. And um, yeah, basically I just we'll start with just the YouTube guidelines. I'd like to know how you got permission to give out firearm related products and services, not give them out, sorry, sell them. And, uh, also I'd like to know again, just where are the policies for the competition? Your website seems to not have been updated in three years. And, uh, I don't know why you're not letting like people talk about it in your chat. It seems scammy. It seems like you're breaking the law and it seems dishonest. So, Look, you know, no no flinging of feces or anything like that. These are basic questions that anybody on the up and up should be able to answer. Thank you so much, Aaron. Um, and I'll be looking forward to your answer. So I did that today basically on Twitter, and then he just blocked me. <laughs> so and then and then of course hours later deleted all the prize night videos. So it's like, is are we even I mean 
I don't know where you guys are at, I guess. You know, there's 115 people here. Do you guys believe that he's breaking the law? Are you not sure? Do you think I'm full of shit and Steel Toes winning? I'd love to know where you're at on this, just, you know, as a consensus, because I don't know. It feels like when you delete those things, you're almost just admitting guilt. Why would you take those down? If you're doing nothing wrong, why would you take those down? Their entire chat is moderator after moderator. Yeah, I, I do I do have a, some predictions. It's a cult thing. Don't talk to anyone else, just me. Get all your information from me. Don't talk to anyone else. Yeah, it's like that Jacinda bitch in New Zealand um, during the pandemic going like, if you he don't listen to anyone else except the government, if you hear any, any other things, don't listen we're the guys. It's like, okay. 1984 much? Them's the facts. They have not defended any of it. I mean, it just should be, look, the minute you go like, here's our rules and regulations. Here's where you can enter for free. And here's why we charge different levels for different denominations of gift card, which there's no excuse for that. You're just scamming people. Um... But no, they can't. They block. They delete. They ban. People making super chats asking questions. Banned. 100% Shawshank. You're 100% spot on about the terms and conditions. And look, it's not even like, again, it's not the end of the world. I'm not, like, again, if there was any remorse or anything, I'd be like, all right. We've made the world a better place. These guys are like these fucking haters. It's like, okay. I swear to God, for the lulls, I'll bring your whole company down. I don't care. You're a narc. Yeah, yeah, man. When people are breaking the law to hurt other people. Like, how how long does this business model sustain itself where you're getting $500 every morning from 500 people? Do the math on that. Because, you know, I have a feeling that one-tenth of those people are donating and they going to run out of money or they're going to run out of not having common sense and go, wait a minute. Why am I paying $20 a day to watch this dork and his uncomfortable wife April on her show last night? Couldn't stop self soothing. She was doing a lot of rubbing and, and just constantly wringing her hands and oh my God, again, again, what are the what are these people's lives like? How long can the Steel Toe morning show and the Steel Toe evening show be a part of your... Ugh. Take it from me, who's been doing this program for 18 years. It's like, you're going to want to find a balance. We used to do five days a week, and it was just, just uh, you know, an hour or two. And you get burned out. You know, we try three days a week, and then I, you know, got to an age where I'm like, I'm on when I'm on. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> I believe it. Just be transparent. Uh, he's guilty of acting guilty. <laughs> so hypocritical. Yeah, you're not wrong. Anybody. Now, he, he does have a chance to rebuild from here, but we'll see. I mean, he got so unhinged at one point. They've now started to try to do gay ops where they're, like, doing cancel maneuvers, like, call advertisers, do this, do that. And now they're trying to do a... We called Stonies and asked if they knew you were selling the gift cards. Now, we've since learned the owner of Stonies is a big fan of your show and happened to be your big cash winner on your prize night. Cheetos. He pulled the name and he's like... I swear this isn't rigged. Cheetos wins the money. It's like, so he gives you gift cards. You sell the gift cards to your chat. You get the money for that, and then you kick back money to Stonies? Because that's called embezzling, I'm pretty sure. That's like money laundering or something, you know? <laughs> you used to do zero days a week as well. For Yeah, I I skipped three months doing a podcast before. So for sure. You just got to, like... Again, these people's lives are going to be so fucking miserable. And, you know, they they like, I don't even know what they're doing. They don't have a fucking clue. 
They're looking into how to do smaller stickers. They think they're going to put the new boot. The new boot logo, I think, is the one down here behind the comment. I think that's their, what they call their new boot logo. Or is that the old one? It's hard to tell which one's the new one and which one's the old one because they're both just clip art. <laughs> like, they're not logos, guys. They're clip art. Who, like, you know, Clippy suggested these for your logos. It looks like you're starting a podcast. What's it called? Steel Toe Morning Show. Try using these boots. That's how Clippy talks. <laughs> thing, and this is really great. I actually had to start using the block button today because the autism got so bad. So he blocked me. And again, my autism was, all I said was, Aaron, I'm legitimately asking, where can I see the rules for the contest and how do I enter for free? Blocked blocked so i don't know what a gay op is that sounds insane but trying to get people canceled yeah we're trying to get someone who's scamming his listeners and actively gaslighting them and preventing them from hearing truth yeah yeah we're trying to get that guy removed from his position of power yeah so that's what i'm trying to do i don't know about you guys like, I like reading what listeners send me and stuff in the notifications feed. And if you get in the way of that, I got I to gotta move you. I got to get you out of there. So one of them was so autistic over our prize shows that they ignored all the rules that we had followed. And they're like, you're breaking the rules. So, again, all he's done is gone, we followed all the rules. And, like, again, he hasn't. You have to, again, what, one of the first rules is, like, you cannot make it cost money to enter. So there's no way to enter these any of these contests without paying money. There's just not. There's no link to the contest rules. There's no mention of the contest rules. When he says, here are the contest rules several times on a prize night, what he's doing is saying, here's how to win. He's not telling people the rules that govern the oversight of, of the contest, of the giveaway, which is what consumer laws are about. I don't think they even have a real desk, just a plastic folding table. Wow. He's also one of the biggest bullies ever. Yeah, again, like, this guy goes after everybody. He's savage. He's tearing people apart. Until what? Until... Somebody better than you comes along. A week and a half ago, this guy was on the thing going, oh, Patrick, yeah, he's an old school podcaster. They're a has-been. They don't do anything anymore. It's like, I went to you and you're freaking the fuck out. You're having to take down videos. You're having to spend, I don't know, seven to 38 segments every live show you do. They bring it up. They cannot get away from it. The chat keeps reminding him. They keep having to ban people. They don't understand again that like, People are just creating alts and new names constantly. They're so new to the net, they don't get it. They don't get it. They're dumb as fuck. Gay ops and blood sports are words Mersh uses frequently. Again, this Mersh guy keeps coming up. Who is this guy? Like, I, I honestly I have no fuck. People are like, oh, and then he tweeted me. He's like, I met Patrick in Ybor City. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Confirmed. Like, I don't know who these people are, but they all know me and they all know I'm shit. Okay. <laughs> Confirmed. Um, Nightwave Radio. Yeah, I have never seen it. Again, I'm new to all this Kumia stuff. So if he's any of these Kumia guys and and Shuli or who are these podcasts? I'm I'm just getting into this world, so I don't know the guys. Rules are basically gay. <laughs> Edwin San Juan is waiting to see all of this collapse. Me too. Surely that lays under whatever gambling laws in whatever state they are in. I mean, it's not only that. You have to... Gambling laws for... Oh, fuck. We're being haxered. The gambling laws for all the states where, you're, where your winners are eligible. You know? I mean, you gotta... 
you got to cover all the bases. Is April blowing him right now, or did she give up on this shit show? Well, the thing is, they go live in four hours. So I imagine he wakes up 90 minutes to two hours before the show. Whether you got to shower and get ready or gather yourself or prepare and... Johnny Crunches has to come over and hobble down to the basement. Imagine making this cripple go down to your basement. <laughs> come on, Johnny Crunches. He has to leave his door open starting at 3 a.m. for Johnny Crunches to make his way down the stairs. Oh, fuck. And by the way, Johnny seems like a nice guy. I don't know, Johnny. He was shitting on... We all saw the Twitter where he was, like, shitting on Steel Toe a year ago. So, like, Steel Toe has no friends. We all know it is confirmed. Steel Toe pays these guys $50 a week. $50 a week for a four-hour show. Maybe, maybe it's 50 a show. Four hours a show is $12.50 an hour. Mersh was the homeless guy that desperately trying to get an get on O and A back in the day. The laughing stock of R. Opie and Anthony. Okay. <laughs> he sounds like a dork. <laughs> um, I'm disabled, step suck, so does grass, LOL. I believe. Where is Earl? Yeah, Earl's been quiet tonight. He's been texting me. Um, so yeah, I like it's one thing to like, again, I, you know, you make a black joke or a trans joke. I, I'm all for that. I like humor and I'm, I'm, a, I am a free speech guy. I'm a hundred percent a free speech guy. So somebody was like, I went after him for making fun of homeless people. I went, I went after him for being transphobic. Now today I put up a video where I called him a transphobic liar or yesterday and like somebody was like, I don't like you trying to get him on being transphobic. I'm like, I'm more trying to get him on the liar part. The transphobic is just clickbait. <laughs> I don't care. And by the way, I don't even care if you are transphobic. I think it's an extremely myopic point of view to have, but you're allowed to have it. And by the way, I don't want to be near you if you're transphobic either, or, or if you're trans either. Get out of town. I don't want to be around transphobic people or trans people. Get out of my chat. Chad Zumach had a better pay split for his guests. Yeah, Chad Zumach sent me 50 bucks for doing that show. <laughs> and I was on for an hour. It's like, all right. Um. So, yeah, I, when you're like, these guys are trying to get me canceled. It's like, what? For what? You're a legal contest? It's like, at some point. But, uh, oh, by the way, another giant facet of that, of, facet of that is like, uh, you know, some sort of uh, accountability to make sure you're not giving out, I don't know, make sure you're not selling guns and ammo cards to children. You're not allowed to do it anyway, but you, you don't have any age controls. Again, this would all be clear if there were any rules or regulations or guidelines for this contest, but there's not as required by YouTube. So, you, it's easy to sit in your little ivory tower and be like, they're they're all after me. They're all trying to get me canceled. It's like, no one's trying to get you canceled. We're reporting you for crime. You commit crime. So we're reporting that. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. And then I calmly explained to them, and I shouldn't have engaged, but I calmly explained, uh, well, no, here, actually, uh, if you buy merch from us that month, we put you in a little fun prize drawing. And they're like, I'm going to be what? Okay, it's not a prize drawing. It's a cash drawing. And yeah, I agree. That's what you do. If you buy merch from us, you go into a cash drawing. And they started freaking out. It's like, yeah, that's illegal. I'm agreeing what you do. It's illegal. <laughs> they're so crazy. All we do is if you buy merch, we put you in a cash drawing. <laughs> it's like, right, yes. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Watching you during your next prize show, I'm going to make sure that... And I'm like, first of all, 
so gay. I don't even make fun plans that far in advance, let alone spurgy alcoholic plans that far in advance. See, so, so this is all distraction. This is all smoke screening. Okay. So now Earl is super chatting, and here's how dumb he is. You know, membership costs a dollar ninety nine. Earl, you spent a you spent a dollar ninety nine to ask me the question. Aren't I a member? <laughs> Why don't you just buy the membership for one ninety nine? And by the way, you have so many alt accounts you fucking got. You know, you have so many alt accounts. Who knows if you're a member on what? Just be a normal guy with a normal account. Sign up and be a member. Stop fucking around. This is all sounding like a dodgy tax scam. <laughs> yeah, but what he's doing now is, like, he's not even arguing about uh, the thing anymore. He's already distracted you. Do you see what he's done? They were, like, saying that we're doing this illegal contest, and I was like, gay. I don't even make fun plans that far in advance. These losers are planning to be in the chat for a prize night. What a bunch of mentally ill wackos. It's like, huh? <laughs> Patrick doesn't answer questions unless they're from the Steel Toe speech to text bot. Yeah. For the people watching, if you don't know, we do have an AI Aaron M. Holt. The initials just happen to match. An artificial intelligence uh, voice model of Aaron M. Holt. If you go to nobodylikesonions.com slash tips, and for just a tip of 333, you can make Aaron M. Holt say anything live on the show. I have no control. It will just speak. You just have to make your tip message start with toe, T-O-E, colon. Moody, if you'll put this stuff in the chat. I love it when Aaron interrupts the show with, with some poignant stuff. So if you uh, want to support the show with a small tip and make Aaron talk, you can do it. He's very, very smart. And Earl, would you just join, you know, figure it out. Stop texting me and just join the show. You fuck stick. It's like Bernie Madoff saying they're just trying to cancel me for running a massive Ponzi screen and grift millions of dollars. Yeah, I I just, you know, again, if it wasn't hurting anybody, I don't care if you're breaking the law, but you're like fucking over innocent. I imagine these are like boomers in Minnesota that don't even have a lot of money. It's illegal. Give them the death penalty, I say. <laughs> um, they're just they're freaking out just because I stole their retirement fund. Maybe Aaron is AI. That's a good point. Next, he'll be selling shares for Steel Toe. Oh, yeah. Would you like to own part of Steel Toe? Be part of the team. Join the revolution. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, I answered his question. I figured, you know what? I'll give him an honest answer. First. Do you want to go? After this, we'll go see the answer. Do you guys want to see? First. And then if he keeps spurging out after that, I'll just cut him loose and of course he kept spurging out after that so i cut him loose well then another so then uh muttering Jim uh, tries uh, to get uh, in, yeah, uh, and then, everybody starts telling him dude you're unhinged you've gone too far this is crazy you're reaching and then lemmy and company just fucking broke the guy this muttering J guy is like crazy posting everywhere but he lumps us all together. He's like, they're all just spurging out. They're all just losing their shit. And it's like, we're not all the same guy, idiot. There's hundreds of people asking you a question. And you're like, they're all like, blocked goes, mentally ill. Oh, yeah? Well, he, he better. He's going to get banned. We're going to get a ban from YouTube because he's a uh, private party uh, gun advertising. And let me just, it was one tweet that just shattered him. She goes, oh, God, you ready for this? This this is actually really, really funny. This is great. So, again, you're not only private party gun advertising. It's like, this is a firearm facility. I think they're a range. They sell ammo and firearms. You are selling gift cards for them to your audience without any age verification checks. It's, it's against YouTube's terms, period. But it's definitely shady when you're not even checking to see if you're sending firearm stuff to kids. You idiots. You idiots. So watch what he says. And, and then when they brought up that firearm stuff, we just 
decimated them. You ready? Again, this is from their crack legal team over there at Imholt and Imholt. <laughs> Here we go. Listen to this. Listen to this justification. They're a licensed FFL dealer, you fucking idiot. And then. <laughs> <laughs> he's so he's so dumb that he thinks because the company he's illegally giving gift selling gift cards to his chat against YouTube service YouTube services no firearm product promotion none none it's not allowed and then he goes, and then we just destroyed him. We go, they're a licensed gun dealer, idiot. It's like, are the YouTube regulations, feel free to sell guns and ammo to anybody in your chat as long as it's through a licensed arms. It's like, he thinks somehow that the that the gun place's license protects Texts him as a YouTuber to break YouTube's rules and sell firearm-related gift cards to a chat without verifying ages. Is that what it is? <laughs> Fuck, dog. So this is this was tonight, and this is basically just literally admitting to breaking the law and breaking YouTube guidelines. His lawyer is spurging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of me wonders if this is all a master plot by Aaron to create this whole thing. Look how big this whole thing is now. You could say that, but... Okay, so... Everybody who hears about this knows he's a scam artist. Are they going to give him money after this to support his show? No. The people who are ride or dies when this all comes out, like this Lemmy chick, who he brings up a lot. He uses her as a as a body shield a lot. He's like, Lemmy in our chat is just destroying people. It's like she's a mod. She's banning people. She's not she's like, she just shuts people down. It's like, no, no, she shuts people off. <laughs> and then you look at her picture and it's like, oh, uh oh. No. I don't know what the big deal is. All I did was violate a series of laws and scam a bunch of people out of their money. I, what are you going to do about it? Wow, Aaron, this is... The government isn't going to participate in your gay ops and shut me down. It's a government, not a government. But listen, I'll cut you a deal, Patrick. If you really want me to stop, just super chat five ninety nine in my chat so I know that's what you want me to do. Thanks, buddy. Holy shit, is that... Is that voice good or what? That is dialed in. Holy shit. And you got a lot out of that one. Fuck. So that's what you can do with Aaron's voice. If you want to do it, head over to nobodylikesonions.com slash tips. Moody will put the instructions for how to make it talk. You got to follow these very specific instructions. And Moody will put them in the chat. That was great. <laughs> that was fucking great. Oh, that's the best one so far. Um, what? It's a licensed liquor store. Why can't I give it out to kids? This is I'm so stupid. See how dumb I am. <laughs> oh, shit. We got a new member. Guns and ammo are pretty cool, though. <laughs> Oof, no bueno. Nah, he's just utter stupid. Maybe. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I really don't know. Because, again, a guy coming from the radio world should be familiar with all of this stuff. But I don't think he was ever really a radio guy. I think he did his own thing and, like, bought radio time. And so he didn't have a program director. It wasn't a real station or studio. But maybe I'm wrong. I, I, you know, I don't know. I'm an idiot. Nothing about Aaron or any of his fans are intimidating. He doesn't realize we've seen this all before. Yeah, the thing, too, is, like, all your tough, rowdy 
ride or die fans who who like to fuck around are here. They're here. Like they left you. They see a pussy in you. Like the only people left are the most mush minded, dumb fucks. Like who's left over there? It's just like Lemmy. You know, I had some people message me like, Lemmy's a good egg, leave her alone or whatever. It's like, but you click on her photo, it's like literally, it looks like an 18-year-old emo kid who, you know, splits her time between Claire's Boutique and Spencer's Gifts down at the mall in Minnesota. And all she does is like, like, it's funny, like, but she's an idiot. Like, she's a dumb kid and she's not making any real arguments. She doesn't have any... Give Earl a free member. I can't give people memberships on YouTube. I have no control over it. Like, again, he spent $1.99 to be like, hey, aren't I a member? It's like you could have just bought a member. Click join. <laughs> um, so I would if I could, but I can't, so I won't. Um, da -da 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 -da. Let's let him finish this clip. This is like I'm watching that whole thing right now, and as other people are writing to me and telling me stories, I'm going, I feel like leaving that kind of community, I feel like I just left a room before a nuke went off. Like, that whole thing is just... Now, he tweeted that hours earlier. This is another thing. Him and April, like, rehearse bits. <laughs> Him and April rehearse bits and, like, do planned little bits and skits on the show. And hours before this show, he tweeted, leaving that toxic world behind, I feel like I just left a room before a nuclear bomb went off. It's like, again, the gaslight and the cope is real. I don't know what world you're living in, dog. We're all fine. He's calling you guys crazy. He's calling you crazy. He's like, these guys think I'm breaking the law. These guys think I'm, like, scamming people. It's like... How is you charging 10 people, like, the first four people who super chat $10 win a $50 gift card? It's like, you got the gift cards for free? And the first four people who give you $10 win a $50 gift card? Because I don't remember any radio contests like that growing up. I used to listen to Bubba the Love Spanch. Fan of my comedy. I like Bubba the Love Sponge. He likes me. I'm a big, big friend of Bubba. He comes to shows when I'm in Tampa. He fell in love with me years ago. Couldn't shut up about me on the radio. Went on a show. He's like, that one guy was fucking amazing. What's his name? Patrick Melton. That kid's going to be something. <laughs> Um, you could have bought a membership, Earl, says Edinburgh Mikey. But I don't remember one radio contest when I was a, when I was a kid where they're like, the first person to call in, give their credit card number, and to contribute $10 wins tickets to the concert. I don't remember a thing like that. It was just caller number nine wins. Um... So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. But if you remember, do you, does anybody have a contest memory like that where they're like, yeah, I think, I think that is how it went. <laughs> I'm trying to find this. Uh... <laughs> Only because I know he's got all these radio heroes and he thinks he's like on the up and up. What is this? Boom. Where's my Bubba piece? You know, we had a great time Thursday with Gargiulo's deal, did we not? And yeah, we need to fun. and we need to do that more often. We really do. And what I was so happy everybody was on time and hey Gargiulo, do you notice how nobody I don't know other shows you've worked for, but do you notice how all my guys that were committed to being there were actually like fifteen minutes early? 
Yeah, I actually got a text message from my girlfriend that said, uh, it's "Who's Gargiulo?" Cool somebody says they'll show up to see you do something. They actually show up because a lot of guys in the hit past the like button for them. me, <laughs> will you? And then they never show. Yeah, well, it was let's great. get it up to two hundred by the first hour. That would be cool. Or maybe have that would be that cool. Guy. Rio <laughs> Paris. Yeah. Rio Paris. He nailed it. And then the other guy I know, Patrick. I've known that guy for a while. He's a podcaster, and he used to be in touch with me. And that guy's lost like a hundred and some pounds. The uh, the, the Patrick dude. <laughs> Oh, very cool. And uh, that's the two I liked. Uh, well, we liked you, of course, as well. What, what about the others? Oh, they're all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the headliner was a little. I thought the black guy or Patrick should have been the headliner, the, the last guy. Yeah. The black. But you gotta, you gotta. Uh, never mind. I'll tell you what you gotta do later. Oh, Not okay. that I know an ounce of anything. <laughs> Sorry. If the host guy was a little rough. Yeah, <laughs> the host see? guy was a little rough. Need more confidence. You know what? Maybe the reason why you're hosting so much Gargiulo is because you're so damn good at it. <laughs> um, such a funny thing for him to do. A, hmm, we need something to symbolize who has entered the contest. How about we use whoever gives me twenty dollars to enter into the contest? Yeah, that's exactly what he did. He, he's like, there's got to be an orderly way to. Do- this is the this is the how brainwashed he has his chat. This is crazy. He goes. All right, we have four $10 gift cards. We have four $25 gift cards. We have four $50 gift cards. Now, a normal, a normal contest would take all the entries and randomly select one and give away the 10s and then randomly select four more and give away the 25s and then randomly select four more and give away the 50s. He goes, no, 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 no. Just whatever you want to win, signal what you want to win by how much you contribute to the show. If you want to win the 10, the first four people who donate one dollar 99 cents if you want to win the 25s the first four people that donate five dollars let's call it just just so we can distinguish and then the if you want to win the 50 dollars just donate ten dollars the first four people go 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 and then they all do it and by the way more than four do it because they're trying to win and then he'll get like six extra ten dollar donations and go oh sorry guys they're gone and it's like oh so we didn't win you made an extra 60 bucks from the entries that didn't. So it's not by giving it to the first four people who donate $10. What you're doing is essentially selling them. It's not like you're going, everybody who wants in the drawing, super chat 99 cents. And then we'll put all the names down and pick one. No, 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 no. The first four people to give me $10, I'll give you a gift card. That's what he does. And if you happen to be the fifth person or sixth person or ninth person to throw 10 in, he goes, sorry, they're gone. Did you have a chance to win then? No, he tricked you. He tricked you. He's lying. And then he does this thing like where he's like, we have a drawing for members where we, we just reward members for being a member. We do a cash drawing. It's like, what about the other one where you charge $20 for two stickers and then they get a free entry into a $250 drawing? Or what about the other one for VIP members where you do another, if you pay $250 a year, you get into this other drawing. He has three cash drawings. What about the gift cards where it's not a drawing at all and the first people to give you money, get a gift card, you fucking fraud? I just had to block him, you know, because I calmly explained it. And these guys are just haters. It's like, oh, honey. What happened, you know? Like, how did it get here? How did it come to this? Because I would love to know. I just would love to know how it got so far down the road and no one noticed that he was just fucking people, that he was just bareback, raw dog, fucking people. (laughs) Who wants to win the $10? Then someone wins the $50 on accident and says, whoa, whoa, I didn't mean to win this extra $40. I only wanted the $10. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, it's fucking insane. Earl Skakel, you're now a member. Welcome to the madness. Uh, Citizen M, also, thank you. New member, appreciated. Onions is raveling coast to coast. Rivaling? Coast to coast AM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just me and Art Bell sucking up the night. You know what I mean? Uh, wrap it up here, Steel Toe. I don't know if it's exploding or imploding, but it ain't good. And uh, I wish I could say that it's no fun to watch, but 
It's a lot more fun watching it than trying. So again, know, know that at this point in time, at this very moment in time, he's already pulled down all the prize night videos. So imagine the psyche of a guy who already knows he's doing something shady and caught and has already pulled down all the videos of it and then goes live on his show going, these guys are saying we're running an illegal contest. And now you can't even go back and look because he's wiped it off. The He thinks he's wiped it off the internet. Again, dummy, do you think we don't have it? Like, so, yeah, it's just a, it, it's all just wild, wild stuff. And when he does things like this, especially like, again, you've already pulled him down and he didn't, he didn't set them to private. They're gone. He deleted, he panic deleted them. That means he lost the hits. If we go to social blade, we should be able to like, I got to let him finish his video, but then we're going to go, we're going to go look at the Twitter thing that he said where he called, I calmly explained to him how he'd covered all the rules and he just kept spurging out. So I blocked him. We'll go see that conversation, how that went. And then, because all he ever says is, we followed YouTube guidelines. <laughs> it's like, but you didn't, though. Trying to be a part of it. Because you go into something like that, you never come out. And then you're stuck in this small community forever. It sucks. Getting out is kind of like leaving a gang. It sucks for a little bit. But then after a while, you start to see the tables turn, like leaving side. Uh -oh. Patrick, please accept my DM. I want to live in the 9 verse. <laughs> Jesus. Company. Bravo, you did a great job. So Tables turned like leaving Scientology, and uh, whew, it is good. So again, in his mind, he's left Scientology, all the nuts who aren't focusing on the facts. But I, 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 I've never said that I don't make mistakes. And as a matter of fact, I tell you guys that I do. I'm happy to correct them when I do. We can't be right about everything. I'm not sure that he cheated on his wife. It sounds to me like the big fuck up and oops um, during his divorce was him knocking his wife up, not not something else with some other woman. But I don't know. And again, none of my business. I'm not the morality police for this stuff. But when you start doing this stuff where you're just, I mean, I've, again, never seen the level of ignorance about how the internet works. We're watching a guy, he literally believes he can segment off his scam from the rest of the world who's aware of it. Like, like literally like Scientologists be a, the other way around. In, in his Scientology analogy, he's escaped Scientology. Scientology was the crazy, kooky, nutty people who were telling him he was running a scam. But now he's broken free of that, and he can just run his scam. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's more like you won't let your people get on the internet to see the truth. Who's running the crazy compound? Pun intended. Who's running the insane cult? You. You. You're literally using the labor and money of the people you won't let her hear the truth. Because they're uneducated idiots who are looking for a leader, a false prophet. Um, Aaron stole my prize money, says Jeep CJ. Um, no, I don't turn. I'm not a rat. Hold on. What is this? Citizen M, are you muted in the steel toe chat? No, I don't turn. I'm not a rat. I don't know what any of that means. They're too autistic as if you're scared of loud noises and unorganized blocks on the floor. And you're too distracted by that to hear his arguments. Yeah, again, there's not a response. He's never addressed the question. Where are the guidelines and how do I enter free? Let's just start there. Where are the rules governing the contest? And how do I enter all of the drawings for free? Because the first four people who Super Chat 10 get a $50 gift card doesn't sound like a drawing a game of chance, or anything else. It just sounds like you selling gift cards. J-check. 
He needs to uh, just get a bigger vocabulary. Autistic isn't funny, and that he, he just keeps using the like they're doing the pro wrestling stuff. They're all mentally ill, and it's just like, guy, my guy, you gotta knock it off. Nobody is trying to do anything to you. We're asking questions. You're the one spurging. No one over here is spurging. <laughs> Nothing? Really? You ignore me. Like an Aaron DM? How long can these messages be? I'm looking now and I don't see a character limit. That means that is, this could go on forever. Isn't that wild or is it just me? Is this thing on? <laughs> oh, that might be my favorite new fucking thing. Head over to nobodylikesonions.com slash tips to do your own uh, AI Aaron <laughs> message. Lemmy and company, bravo. You did a great job. Got him. Just robot. All right, let's go to the... That shows you how fucking like old school out of it he is. He plays like a, you know, like a theater cr crowd going, rock crowd going... <sighs> For Lemmy, who's like, a, you know, from just what I've seen on Twitter, lives in a trailer and is 22. So, Godspeed, Lemmy. Whoever and whatever you are. Um, what were the two things we were going to check? His Twitter and Social Blade. Because if we go to Social Blade. And we do a little search for steel to morning goo. Here we go. Social Blade, it's a B minus. They're down 43% this month and uh, <laughs> started dropping um, listeners. They were bragging about how fast their channel's growing. What's nuts? I'll tell you guys this. They, they've got uh, 9.21 thousand uh, followers. Now, I got a lot of bot... <laughs> Fuck. Jay didn't put the toe in front of it. You did it wrong. You fucked up. You fucking cackle. Um. Okay, so... <laughs> he forgot to put toe like an idiot i only meant steel toe has no reason to mute me i'm not against steel toe yeah 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 and again everybody going over the line with like his family and like f going to his house or anything like knock that shit off we don't need to do that like focus like there are real this is a real thing if he's fucking over people in his chat that's a real thing that we need to rectify I happen to think because he's such a smug piece of shit that it'll be really funny if he just loses his whole YouTube channel and is banned from YouTube. I think that would be a hoot. Sorry. I I happen to have a real, real soft spot for schadenfreude. Um, you forgot the toe. Yeah, you fucked up, you fucking idiot. <laughs> We got your money. So he has 9.2 thousand. He's growing very slow. 10 a day. We've been crushing. I think I've gained 500 YouTube subscribers, which by the way, if you haven't subscribed, hit the bell, uh, hit the thumbs up. Give us a like if you're enjoying the stuff. I want to stay on all night, but you got to make me know that you love it. I would, it's a dream of mine. And again, I have a lot of bot followers because people think it's funny to buy me bot subscribers and make me look like an idiot but i think that's gay and i would never buy bot subscribers however i would love it to beat them to ten thousand. aaron has been beating this drum about how they're gonna get their oh. god damn it i was saying after my message two times back there was no character limit so messages could go on forever but now as i'm typing this there is a character limit so i think moody fixed it after he heard me so really i saved this show yeah, you did save it, Aaron. It's another W for Aaron, everybody. He really, 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 really 
does it. Remember not to run into the zoom glitch again so you don't lose your... Oh, the zoom glitch. <laughs> Guys. Um, yeah, I'll try not to do that again. Hopefully we won't be zooming tonight uh, a lot. Hoot hoot. Um, which I'm pretty sure is a slur. So, um... The fuck was I saying? Oh, I would love. I this is a pipe dream, and I don't think it could happen. But if you guys have any pull on the internet, if anybody watching has any pull, and I don't mean go do it fake, I would love to beat this idiot to ten thousand subscribers. It'd be so fucking funny. It'd be so fucking funny. Um, what's the Thai one? Thai? Yeah, we have a Josh. You can do Josh Denny's voice too with Josh Colin. I've never even heard the Josh Denny one. That's that's a new one. And we also have Ty Rivera with Ty Colin. Um, if Aaron had any heart, he'd upload some chat GPT essay or something into that talk for 45 minutes about whales or something. <laughs> As if I wouldn't pot it down. This isn't... This isn't uh, OP radio. I'm not doing this from a phone. I have a board. I'll just fucking pot it down. You guys want a palate cleanser? That'll make you want to keep it attached. Okay, so if anybody has the power to get me some sort of platform that'll get me to... What do I need to get to 10,000? Uh, I need like 3,000. It's not going to happen. But it would be fucking amazing. God. Because only because he cares so much. He cares so much. Um, I'm trying to see video views. But we should see, maybe it'll show up tomorrow. We should see a big drop in views if he deleted all his prize night videos. Right? Because Moody, correct me if I'm wrong, you know a little bit about YouTube too. If you go to a link that used to be a link to a video, if it's private, it'll say, you know, if the owner is giving you permission to view this, log in, or it'll, oh, fuck. How accurate is this one? Let's see. Uh... In the world, see the the thing you need to know about me is I don't even know Patrick. That's that's not bad. It's a relaxed tie. Um, we need Twixie bots to get Patty M to ten k. Go buy some bots. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What is? Hold on. I don't want to get you know. That's a YouTube violation. Um, not a slur. You said this stream was a hoot. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, welcome, cool boy. What is Twixie? I don't know. I don't want anything that's like against YouTube turns or legal. I don't want to lose my account. I don't run. I don't play fast and loose over here with um that stuff. Oh, by the way, one of my intros, a ton of my videos got demonetized for this intro. I I think I can play it now, but I'm not even sure. It's the intro I use all the time for like a lot of shows. So a lot of videos got demonetized where it says, nobody likes onions. The show everyone loves to, you know, and that word H A T. I don't even want to spell it. I don't know how the algorithm works. The opposite of love that if, it's in the first four seconds, that little stinger intro, and they're like, within the first eight seconds, it's harmful speech, and they just demonetized all my videos that have that intro, so I have to go back and trim that. It's like, what the fuck? So now, like, they're just making up new slurs and <laughs> words that I can't use in monetized, in, uh, monetized videos. Uh, it's board tie. Steel Toe fans are gay. <laughs> Some might say, yet yeah, we'll be negative tomorrow if he hid or privatized streams. I'm pretty sure del he deleted them. It says it doesn't exist, which, you know, when they're private, doesn't it say? Indifference is the opposite of love. No, it isn't. 
What's wrong with you? Indifference is neutral. I swear. Don't make me come over there. I'll burn all of you. Um, let's look up uh, Aaron M. Holtz. Let's go to find my Twitter. We're going to have to find it. Here's when I got blocked. So it must have been. <laughs> I did. Steel Toe headquarters. They're asking how to enter the drawing for free as required by law. Block them. Did you rig the drawing to make sure our chat mods and sponsors win the cash? Good. And then my other one. Steel Toe headquarters. April. Do we need contest rules and should we try to see what it takes to be legally compliant so this doesn't backfire on us? Aaron, you're the GM of the company, so you're the one who will be charged. I go through wives like sticks of butter. <laughs> oh, fuck. So he told he told his people that I'm one of the most dangerous guys on the internet. Aaron M. Holt said that about me. That I'm one of the most dangerous guys on the internet. Now, he's used to picking on like big people and being the victim when it backfires, but like I'm a smaller channel. I have less followers than you on every platform. And I'm just asking questions, dog. I'm not at your house. I'm not taking pictures. I'm not spurging out. Let's see. Um, Where is he? I, I got to try to find his replies to see when he blocked. <laughs> this is a good one, too. They're all into that pro wrestling stuff. We don't do that. We're a real show over here. And here they are in full ICP gear. <laughs> they got Fagos and face paint. Here's April M. Holt going, interact with the host, not the chat, please. Stop the crosstalk. <laughs> it's so insane. That's how they think communities work. Um, so I can't, it's going to be tough to find, they're retweeting, retweeting Chrissy Mayer. I don't know who this Leroy guy is. He tweet he tries to bury it all, you know? You ever feel like you left a room of people right before a nuke went off? This is that joke that he did on the show. And this was early this was before <clears throat> Okay, I'll admit it. I like to make women cry. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Do you think April talks to her friends from high school or her parents and just cries and is like, ah, I don't know what, it, I don't know. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> like this bitch has no business in a radio career. Are you crazy? Are you fucking nuts? This poor bitch. <laughs> um, here we go. Here we go. Evening show. That's a turn. He's like a silly guy. I don't like this like tough guy who's also like silly and fun. This was it. This was it. I said, did you know Aaron Inholtz winners for cash drawing? Da 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 da. He goes, oh, Patrick, you silly goose. It was a member's drawing, and he gave the prize to another listener. So, wing and a miss by the old melatonin. You got to give him this. He never gets tired of failing. And now, those videos have been removed from YouTube. Did I swing and miss? Did I fail? 
Because I know somebody came out to me and they're like, Patrick, you know, that contest you ran was illegal. I wouldn't go, fuck you. No, it wasn't. And then immediately go delete the video. Because <laughs> that's that's pretty damning. And then here here's how, remember when he's like, and then I calmly explained the rules and they just kept spurging out. Okay, let's see. Let's watch. Let's watch Patrick Patrick Spurg out. <laughs> um, where are your rules and policies posted on your three-year-old website? These are YouTube's rules. What else are you ignoring? Liar. Holy shit, you're obsessed with us. So the line of attack fails. What's the next one you'll conjure up? This is desperate in your head all day. Take it easy, champ. And then he blocked me. And then someone said, to be a member, you must pay a monthly fee. Nobody's entering for free, champ. Seriously, why are you so upset about these giveaways? This is like one of his guys. They're like, to be a member, you must pay a monthly fee. Nobody's entering for free. Why are you upset about the giveaway? And then Aaron goes, he can't help himself. I've given this answer for two years now. Patrick doesn't care about the truth. He just wants to ride coattails. He's one of the most dang oh, sorry disingenuous guys out there i thought it said dangerous i feel like an idiot now because i wrote i did a whole new tweet about it so i look like a fucking idiot now okay i'll own my mistakes i'm not perfect w man goes silly goose is a jim norton line no it isn't <laughs> are you fuck you a lot of you guys are like stuck in such narrow little fucking brainwashed cults they, like, you're so dumb. Like, again, what's wrong with you? I grew up in the 80s. My dad called people a silly goose all the time. Was he a Jim Norton fan? Or is Jim Norton also from that generation and heard that word? Y you guys are insane. You think silly goose. I'm not good. You think Silly Goose is Jim Norton? Let's get the fuck out of here with that. Pro wrestling's for 12-year-olds and tarts. I'm interested in crosstalk. Where did Earl Skakel go? We gifted him a mem membership. Uh, when he said you're one of the most dangerous guys on the internet, he was typing from the POV of a pie. <laughs> uh, yes, they're deleted. Um, yeah, because the most dangerous people on the internet are YouTubers and podcasters that use their real name and tell you where they live. Right. I'm not like an anonymous piece of corn <laughs> that you're like a big fan of. Um, Jimmy used to say people in, say it to people in combat all the time in the old days is all I meant. Yeah. I mean, I just call anybody being insane a silly goose. So let's, again, just look how this all played out. He can't help himself. I've given this answer for two years now. Patrick doesn't care about the truth. He just wants to ride coattails. Corey Adam comedy teased him, and he turned all bitter on us. So they think, like, again, if I ever think about Corey Adam again, I'd be shocked. <laughs> like, nobody's worried about Corey Adam. The fat nudge in Texas doing nothing, hiding from... A bunch of allegations in his hometown that he can only go back to for Thanksgiving if he knocks on every door and notifies everybody he's in town. Nobody's worried about Corey Adam, the comedy threat no one's heard of. I mean, get the fucking amount of insanity. Uh, so this is how this all played out, and... Again, I just go, he goes, Patrick, you silly goose. It was a member drawing. And I'm like, okay, how do I enter for free? Here's YouTube's guidelines. Why aren't you following these? And then he just goes, you're obsessed. What happens when this line of attack fails? It's like, this line of attack didn't fail. Where are your guidelines? So he went on air and said, they kept spurging out. I explained it calmly and they kept spurging out. So I blocked them. It's like, where did he explain it? I asked the questions. You said I'm obsessed. Someone else said, um, 
nobody enters for free. You have to be a member, which I agree with. That That's one of his guys defending him, <laughs> which, yeah, that's the problem. That's what makes it illegal. And then he's like, yeah, he's just obsessed and disingenuous. Again, he thinks I'm clout chasing his show. We go after people with no following at all for years. It's Is that clout chasing? <laughs> like... No one's clout chasing steel goo morning foo. It's garbage. Um, <laughs> you are really good at this. God, I'm high and loving this. And my last comment before. What was your last comment? Um, you guys are dumb, you fucking idiots. Please donate to the link. Thank you for your support. Immediately, he was like, Citizen M, I'm not talking about him. He did not want me to say your name again. Yeah, because, look, there's a reason he goes, one of these guys. See, it used to be Patrick Melton's mentally ill. I'm glad we dodged that bullet. Melton, nobody likes onions. Like, he used to say it. Now he's like, one of the guys, like, I had to block him because he's sparking out. It's like, because if you if he mentions the name, you might go look. One of his pay pigs. <laughs> you might go look and find out, wait a minute. You know, there's that's not Sky. It's a wall. I'm in the Truman Show, and this is all fake. He can't have you doing that. So he just goes, ah, we moved on. We're doing a fun show. Those guys are spurging out, mentally ill. It's like, Jesus Christ, man. Corey Adam, a.k.a. Fat Wario. Um, I'm not good was an E-Rock drop. I do remember that. Can you only imagine the destruction he has caused uh, before he even became Steel Toe? Yeah, I just think, I really think he was, he was like this cornball DJ. Like, he got out, he got into radio, like, as Opie and Anthony were dying and just kept doing what they were doing. And it's like, everybody's moved on and doing their own thing. And then he got on the internet, and he's so out of his fucking depth, you know. Like, he's so fucking clueless that he just, he really can't figure it out. And he thinks he can do the old radio thing where he gets to hide behind the thing. But, like, you're embedded with us, motherfucker. We get to see you failing. We get to see you flailing. We get to see you drowning. We get to see you trying to hold on to this thing. And we get to see April self-soothing and becoming more and more withdrawn as you fucking drone on for donations, subscribes, and talk about how fun it would be to get 200 likes before the first hour. All your fucking regular garbage nonsense. Because let me tell you something. Again, I've been thinking a lot about Aaron M. Holt's life and April M. Holt's life. Five mornings a week, five nights a week, the rest of the time with the kids. Also, Aaron, I heard, is like a big gamer. He loves to like play games. You know, he's into quests and buying loot. So, like, in his spare time, he's gaming and he has shared custody of his kids. And five mornings and five nights a week, he's doing the show. When is there time for April? When is all this canoeing? happening it's not it's not and this is the first time in his career someone has snapped his little fucking pin neck it's bad enough you make this bitch come out with you and watch you get pummeled in the boxing ring time after time again and then take steel toe is my pet name for april jesus christ and then, like, you know, take photos with you afterwards with your little fucking construction cone nipples, you know, after the holding up your boxing gloves like you're Rocky. More like steel toe sake, not the drink. And, um, and so. I was thinking, like, when she fell in love with you, you were the radio guy she listened to at work. And you were so funny. Remember, you were Mike David. You were doing an impression of Mike David. And so you were zinging people and so funny. <laughs> Just bullying everybody. Oh, my God. It would be so good to be with that Kang. He's a Kang. And then you guys meet and start dating. He gets fired and he goes out on his own on Twitch. You take one look at that banner he bought and you're like, hubba, hubba. Mommy wet. <laughs> And then you 
get engaged and marry him. And he goes, you know what, April, you're so funny. You are, you're not like the other girls. You're not like the other girls. You're so funny. Why don't you come on this adventure with me? Let's build the show together. Because I bet she like started coming on the night shows. He's like, you know what? You're really good. I've been doing radio a long time, and I know you got the chops, kid. And I know the whole time I've done radio, my whole career, I've adamantly spoken out about how awful women are on the radio. As a matter of fact, it's the thing that got me fired, screaming about how women shouldn't do radio. And then all my heroes, Anthony and Kevin Brennan, told me that this would ruin it, having her be part of this and the relationship and stuff. But I didn't fucking listen. I don't care. This is my lady, my ride or die. She's so funny. She's going to be good on the radio, and we're going to tear people apart. We're going to rip people's videos apart. We're going to make fun of retarded people and transgendered people. We're going to bully other shows. It's going to be fucking awesome, and we're going to grow and grow and grow. Did you see the banner? <laughs> have you seen our merch? We have some of the best iron-on shit ever. We don't have time to iron it on before we take photos of it for our store. We'll iron it on, though. If you order one, we'll iron it on. Every one of their guests has to wear their merch. They're all wear wearing steel toe merch. It's like, cool. It's the dumbest shit. <laughs> so uh yeah so that's that's what they're doing over there he's he's telling everybody that he answered all the questions and explained it on twitter and then the guy kept spurging out it's like no he just kept going like what next patrick is this how you're gonna act he's obsessed is that you explaining it so like this guy's so full of shit and gaslighting himself so now he starts losing losing a battle, okay? It's already uncomfortable. Things are strained. The kids, the new wife, the new the old wife hates the new wife because she's younger and hotter. You know, the, the dynamic. Every time the tension with the dropping the kids off, the taking the kids back, the, the tension there, the new husband, the old husband, the books. Everybody hates everybody in this whole whole situation. And now they start losing massively. And, you know, he can't really quarantine april like he can all of his dumb fans she's living there she has to see it on his face he watches these shows back i tweeted it the other day you guys might think it's cruel i said i said when you watch the shows back aaron look into her eyes look into her soul as she stares off longingly and self-soothes by rubbing her arm in the same spot over and over again She's questioning all of this. What have I done? I have my whole life ahead of me. Am I really about to waste the best years of my life, 25 to question mark, on this Aaron M. Holt guy? I ignored the fact that he doesn't have a chin. I ignored the fact that he doesn't have a spine. But the more and more I look at him, he's turning into an analogous goo that just melts into the ground and just... Kind of has no shape or form, but takes on whatever the latest thing he's been watching. I don't know why I didn't see it for years. He kept making me watch these movies, and then I would just hear him in the shower doing voices and practic practicing scenes, and I would make him, uh, he would make me practice the scenes and watch the movies and come on the thing. You see it. They rehearse bits. It's so fucking dumb. And... I just have to wonder if now that it's all crumbling, she sees the truth. She can't, like, she has to see the truth because it's bugging her. You see it. It's bugging them both. And I have to wonder just, you know, she was with that winner. She was with that king of swing on the radio. He took out all the opponents, all comers, knocked out. Aaron M. Holt, steel toe radio. He gets on the internet. It's like, this is a dork. Reddit's laughing at you. YouTube's laughing at you. Rumble's laughing at you. Twitter's laughing at you. There are people up in the middle of the night laughing at you. That's insane. People are going to miss work for this. They've watched a guy they don't even know scream about you in a room for 50 hours. The hits and the numbers tell the truth. One's about to hit 2,000, Aaron. 2,000 people have watched the video about how you steal from your fans. Steal toe. 
Aaron would call April and ask where she was, e.g. the grocery store, and then suddenly show up at the location walking creepily behind her, doing autistic wrestling impressions from his childhood. What are you talking about and where is the footage? You cannot just say that and not think I'm going to question it. I mean, come on. Yeah, hollowing out a canoe. If I talked about fucking you instead of hollowing out a canoe, he'd be better with Terry Clifford. This is the best high I've had. <laughs> Get him, sick him, Patrick. I don't think April is having fun. <laughs> ah, it's just like the amount of lies. I don't know how, I don't know how he can keep it up. Again, here's a here's a post from somebody who went to high school with April. Said, I went to high school. She was a really nice girl, fell in with the wrong crowd. She always talked about wanting to be a veterinarian and helping animals. Never would have thought she'd be part of a crime ring. A man that's had too much fun. How about when it's him just doing a solo show? He sits in the middle and does... Uh, and does one mic. This guy wants to spend time bashing other people's productions. And he does this. <laughs> um, uh, I know other podcasts. Lemmy Winks is humiliating a dying breed on Twitter right now. The hunter cannot handle being hunted. So again, Lemmy Winks is like this poor girl who's mentally disabled. <laughs> And he thinks she's, like, shutting down the haters. Meanwhile, she's, like, doing the same thing he is when people just go, like, how do I enter for free if it's a free contest? She's like, you're a retard. <laughs> you're obsessed. You're mentally ill. Go get a hobby, idiot. It's like. So, like, Chad. Sorry, I keep saying Chad. M remember, I started out on Steel Toe's side with this whole thing, and then it just became very clear. That Chad is way more sane than Steel Toe. He just is. And that's saying a lot. Coattail Riders. <laughs> what is this? I don't want to get copyright struck for that. It's just a video somebody made. Um, Chad talked to Aaron today. What? Uh, speaking of assholes, I got to touch on him real quick. Um, somebody sent me this, and I got to give a shout out to my favorite. I'm not a Reddit guy. Are you a Reddit guy, Tony? No. It's a dangerous place. Uh, Every so often, I'll I'll dabble. I'll, I'll, I'll dabble. It's like too long. <laughs> I hope everyone's on Twitter right now because Patrick Melton is killing Camel Toe. Holy fuck! What a KO! I didn't see that one. That's funny. Um. Story about Fogel Jr. getting beat up by a 15-year-old. Anyone have more details around this? I don't know what that is, but we will be watching. Um, April Ops. Wasn't April said she has proof that Zumok and St. Ashley were in contact? That's his ex-wife. Did she make this up or was she fooled by Chad insinuating he talked to her? Rattle them cans. Let's see what this is. We take the uh, money from the audience. That is how this show supports itself. So if you guys feel like chipping in, please do. Um, I, I want money and stuff like that. Uh, the goal is basically fun shit, and uh, we're going to have lots of fun. Yeah. All right, guys, let's get to the uh, contributions so I can take a salary for myself. Let's uh rattle the cans. Yeah. Rattle the cans. Rattle rattle the cans. Uh let's uh rattle the cans. Yeah. Let's see if anyone's feeling generous. Um let's I took uh, a standing 8 count within the first 5 seconds of my boxing match. It's very personal, Aaron. Thanks for sharing. Rattle the cans. Yeah. Rattle the cans. Rattle rattle the cans. Uh let's uh It's pretty funny. Um, call me daddy. He told people to call him daddy for overtime. Aaron does his longest cope rant yet. I have not heard this. So this was today for overtime. 13 minute cope rant. Oh boy. I haven't heard this one. This is fun. So the people who don't like, you know, you're out there to, you know, our sponsors 
this is fun. The a- the AI thing sounds just like him, man. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's 100% true. They've told the story on the show. That was his way of wooing April. Um, what was? Only people who aren't laughing at him are these podcasts who laugh at podcasts for a living. She's seen all his bald spots. The horror. <laughs> It's okay to not take either side. A hundred percent. Look, if the if the guy literally, if the guy was like, "Oh fuck, we need to look into this," I you know I don't want to get lose my channel. Like, just be a little like aware, humble, remorseful, any of it. But he knows exactly what he's doing. He does know exactly what he's doing. What we're giving away gift cards. The, to the first four people that donate ten, okay. Uh, like, do you think we're all dumb? Like, okay. <laughs> Steel toe lost to Chad. That says a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, let's watch this cope piece. So, the people who don't like uh, Steel toe, just joy in general. <laughs> just yeah, and joy in general, yeah. They- he thinks anybody who doesn't like Steel Toe doesn't like fun. He literally, he really thinks that. It's so insane. Uh, they didn't like Daddy not giving them their attention. They called, he, so again, he thinks this is all because we're clout chasing and want to be on his show. Mm-hmm. Last week and this weekend. Uh, they didn't like that it was just, hey, I don't like that they want to do a comedy show now. Why won't they give me the blood sports that I want? Well, we decided that that. No, no, no. We wish you would stop doing this. You do this every show, several times a show. Again, this is the after show, and there's like seven other clips from this show of you losing your mind about us. It's like, don't ever talk about us on the show again. No one wants to be on your show. We're asking about the free contest you keep talking about. Answer the question. We're not like... Stop trying to make us feel like we're crazy, you fucking idiot. It it doesn't even make sense. Like, get it together, man. Like, what in what world are we mentally ill? Left Arm Tan says, Zumok read an email from Aaron, something to the effect of, if you're the reason she loses her love of doing the show, I'll make your life hell. She needs to lose her love of doing the show. This is an early, early lesson in her career. Do you? I have lines and limits. You know, I'm chastising people out there who are going too far. I'm telling them to leave your personal life alone. I'm telling them that. I have morals and standards. I know you don't recognize it because you're a shape-shifting piece of shit, but I'm the one telling other people when they've gone too fucking far. All I'm asking you is where is the rules to your contest and how can I enter them all for free as required by YouTube guidelines? And as a side note, did you get special permission to sell gift cards related to firearms to unchecked populace in your chat room? Just asking. Blocked. Haters. Gay ops. Whatever that is. I assume it's something when you get your penis chopped off. A gay op. I had a gay op done bottom surgery so you know i i do need a little bit of fucking help here and i do need you to like dial in your brain for a minute and focus and stop worrying about rate you know you keep saying everyone else is doing pro wrestling stuff you're the one doing all the works we're asking you for the shoot who's doing the gay wrestling stuff you're the one with all the face paint And by the way, you're making your wife look like a goddamn clown. If he sent an email saying, if you make her lose her love of... I hope she fucking loses her legs. (laughs) He makes you feel like you're an idiot and don't know what good entertainment is if you don't want to watch his crappy show. It's not a... It's not a bad steel toe mind trick he plays on morons. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just so insane. His guest looks like he's been at a party with Tony Montana. 
wasn't really getting us anywhere. Right. And it, it was wasn't just, really fun. It's going to put us in this perpetual loop of crazy people who end up, you know, showing pictures of your kids and bringing your family into it. Yeah. And I fo- Again, he's all over the place. One minute it's about kids. One minute it's about the lottery. One minute we're all just crazy. Then it's psychosis. It's like pick a battle and fight. You don't fight. You don't fight honestly on any front. You just keep moving the goalposts, changing the rules. It's insane. Fully admitted, I went, you know what? I don't have the stomach for that. I don't want to play that game. Yeah, so I tap out. I even said I tap out. They go, you want? You got to wonder if Johnny Crutches even knows what's going on. Like, just stay. I, I know you have to blindly support your guy to get your $50, but it's like, do you know what you're talking about, Johnny Crutches? Do you know anything about law? Then shut up, all right? Why won't you admit you took an L? That's what I'm saying. If that's an L, if not wanting to talk about families and doing that is an L, I'm I take, took an L. I took the L. again. Like it's so. Does no one's talking about your family? That's old news. Oh, absolutely. What would you call the tap out? Well, the problem is they want blood, mm-hmm. and they- he also does this thing where he's like, "They're after my family." It's like mention. We mention your family, and you're like, "That's too far." It's like, okay, your lines are dumb, dog. You got a fucked up family. That's your problem, okay? Your lines are dumb. It, it This is true. It's so insane. Aaron would call April on the phone asking what she was up to, and if she was grocery shopping, he would drive across town, appear behind her, and start doing wrestling impressions. That is so bananas. It's so crazy. There was another email that Chad showed on his show. Chad apologized to April. His reply was, you need to apologize to her. Then later he said to Chad, you're my little project now, buddy. Yeah, I I saw that. Again, though, now that he's somebody's project. And by the way, he doesn't distinguish what he does from what I do, from what whatever. It's like, I'm after you because you're breaking laws and hurt. You are taking advantage of people. You guys can all sit and argue about, like, is he hurting people? Is that, these people want to give. They want to support the show. And it doesn't matter if every person who gives money would have given money with or without the contest, and they're happy to just do it to support. That's not the problem. The people who are being disenfranchised are not only the people who are entering the contest, they're the people who are unable to enter the contest because he's not giving them an opportunity. He's being shady about this thing that he says is a free drawing. It's like, okay, where do I, how do I get into it? Oh, you just buy two stickers from the thing for $20. It's like, I don't have any money. I want to do the free drawing. What's crazy is this could be all, like he could literally go like, all right, and everybody who emails this address is in the free drawing. Like, like he, there's so many ways to do it. Again, Stream Elements, Stream Labs, they all have plugins that allow you to randomly select somebody in the chat for a give. Like, there's all these ways that are pre-set up to do this. But then he couldn't get two. He doesn't want to pick somebody at random to win. He needs you to buy things and super chat him. That's how he wins. For the free contest. Send me money for the free contest. You guys are dumb, blocked. <laughs> it's like, okay. Creepy Aaron sounded like Pennywise the Clown. Don't ban me for crosstalk with Citizen. Uh, yeah, we got it. <laughs> don't ban me for crosstalk. April in there just constantly going, guys, don't talk to each other. Talk to the hosts. Meanwhile, he's like, we don't look at the chat. We have topics. It's like, you don't. You're just as much of a clusterfuck of a show as any other show. You can't ignore the chat. You're fucked up. And now we live in your head. Say it. How do I log in, daddy? And is there any gash in chat? So this is Earl Skakel going, how do I log in? And is there any gash in chat? Earl, someone gifted you a membership. You are a member. Just log into YouTube and chat. What is going on? What is wrong with Earl Skakel? I know he's 90 years old, but like figure it the fuck out. (laughs) This is so funny. What, Earl? You're in your bag, Patrick, as the blacks would say. Jesus Christ, are there blacks here? Get them out! Ha, 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 he's an idiot. (laughs) All right. 
So he's had enough of the uh, <laughs> he's had enough of the haters, and they've they J- Johnny Captain Crunches is losing his shit. This guy doesn't want to be here ever. He never wants to be here. R- read the room. Going, and we said no. So now. I don't know about you, but people who take a W usually just walk away. Yeah, the, the winning the, part was the end. Right. And the people who take an L usually obsess about you mm-hmm. to an unhealthy degree. Would you say that gay ops is part of taking a W? No. That seems very obsessive. Would you say that contacting people? I, like, another thing that this guy just annoys me about this guy, and look, I don't like gays as much as the next straight, but... I mean, this guy says gay a lot. Like, again, I don't even know what gay ops means. But he does this on Twitter, too, and he does it on his show where he calls people gay all the time. He's like, you're gay. That's gay. It's like, again, we're dealing with a guy who's like brain stopped developing at 2006 humor or something. I can't imagine if... And by the way, I, t- I said the same thing on the other side. All you guys who can't shut up about Megamind, Stuttering John 2.0, uh, Bitch Tits, you sound retarded. Like, if I hear one more idiot go, he's a Stuttering John 2.0, you sound fucking dumb. We heard you. I don't know who Stuttering John is. I don't fucking care. I mean, I know... Who cares? He's not stuttering John 2.0. He's Aaron M. Holt 1.0. He's fucking retarded. (laughs) Like, why? You guys just get like, I swear to God, some of you need to be shaken, if not stirred, because you're out of your fucking elements. Stop calling everything gay. It's like, that's not an insult anymore. Let it go. Like, fuck. So, I guess when we didn't want to fight with them anymore, they all started being gay. Go on. You sound intelligent now. This is what what an almost 40-year-old man is doing to cope. Imagine his fucking wife, Indian style, up on the sofa in their living room, watching a grown man in a basement call people gay and thinking to herself, this is my new career now. I watch my adult husband call men gay. And again, I might sit in this room forever and call people gay. I would never make my wife watch it. She would, I'd cringe if I knew she was watching this. She would cringe. She'd leave me. She'd be like, I'm going to go find a real man with a banner. (laughs) Stop calling people gay. He literally is doing this. He's like, so then when they just like wouldn't leave us alone, now they started doing gay stuff. It's like, uh, this is the weakest man I've ever met on the planet Earth. Camel toe is so stupid. Earl's DMing me on Instagram for help. Good, help him, please. Call him. Watching him, watching him talk uh, now from when he was obsessively trolling Chad last year is hilarious. Yeah, he's a totally different guy. He said he's being sabotaged. Gay ops is some dumb term about messing with people's personal lives. Again, this isn't a personal life thing. Your business is fraudulent. I'm coming for your business. Yeah, yeah, coming for your business. It's not personal. I told somebody tonight to leave your personal life alone. So I got your back on that one, Doc. No, no, no. We just want you to lose everything you have that you use to make money. That's all. Not personal. I'm losing my shit laughing. (laughs) Sabotage by what? Age? Stuttering John stuff is overplayed. Yeah, of course. Galloway fam, thanks for making me laugh. No homo. You're welcome. Thank you guys for being members. I do support everybody in the chat. It's $1.99. I want to make it cheap. If you guys can become a member, I really appreciate it of the channel. I'll do more of these streams. We're going to do members-only streams and stuff. Even later tonight, we're going to switch to members-only. So sign up now. Get in on the fun. It's $1.99. And again, if you don't have that kind of money, get the fuck out of here. (laughs) Just kidding. Um, Yeah, Patrick, thanks. No homo. Gay ops is an accurate term he's referencing, but Aaron 
constantly says gay it's like a 14 year old playing call yeah i don't i don't i don't care what he's calling it to like frame it in his mind to make it me the bad guy but like that's not what's happening dummy <laughs> uh confirmed tarted lesbian milton is trying to steal tommy <laughs> is that what earl said milton is trying to steal tommy Steel Toe is a verb now. On Mike today, I agreed with you that Steel Toe makes money. Uh, Steel Toe makes money, but I don't think Kevin realizes how much he begs and how aggressive he is to make it. Yeah, if anybody would be interested in helping me, I do. I just want to watch all five morning and day shows in a week, and you can watch them on two X and just count the super chats. Let's just count. Let's just see what he's making in a week. We'll do like a random week. You know, and I think the dynamic, the problem is I think the dynamics have severely shifted. I think if you measured three months ago, two weeks ago, and then next week, it would be vastly different what he's making in a week. Because a lot of people I know have uh, woken up. Um, they just, they've just woken the fuck up. When's the members only drawing? It'll be March 30th. Thursday night, I believe, um, will be their next prize night if they do it. Now, remember, they've deleted every prize night video off their YouTube, which, again, means it's legit. I know that when somebody calls out one of my videos saying I'm breaking federal laws and I go, nah, uh I immediately go delete it to prove them wrong. <laughs> He's so fucked. I've got 199. Can I get a $10 gift certificate? Uh, I'm not allowed to comment on that. Uh, Skype Earl. No. Earl Skakel is a fucking out of it dope. I don't have his. I don't know what his number is in this call list, so I couldn't do it if I tried. Um. I have a message from Big Irish J. I wonder if they'll jump into another platform like Vimeo. <laughs> Please. Please. So, again, uh, the two things this guy cares about are YouTube and, uh, like, it's the same with Opie. It's like, yeah, go on Rumble and build up your audience, dummy. He can't make any money on Rumble. So he cares about Kumia Network. He thinks that's going to be a big payday for him. Whereas if you listen to, to MLC... Kevin Brennan and Bob Levy, like, Kumi was paying those guys to come in from Jersey once a week, $100 for two men to come in for hours on a train. Bob Levy would rent a car sometimes. $100 they were making. So he thinks this, like, Kumi a paid. I've heard people make, like, 200 bucks a show, 100 bucks a show there. So in his mind, he's like, I'm going to join the Kumia network and I'm going to be rolling, baby. It's like, go look at Kumia on any social media platform. Nothing is happening. I don't think there's anyone home. The website was out of date for a year and a half till someone mentioned it, me. And then it gets changed in 48 hours. You telling me that wasn't a fucking conversation? Look at this fat nobody making fun of our website. Why has it been wrong for over a year? <laughs> you think Kumia didn't hear about that? You didn't even hear about that? Come on. The real question is how big are your stickers? Two inches. Just like my peen. I wonder if they'll jump to another platform like Vimeo. I'll put it in here. You better be 5.6 inches at least. Uh, we're not selling stickers right now, but we do have a lot of cool stuff over at nobody likes onions.com slash store. I'm a convicted terrorist felon and I'm nine years old. Can I please buy the gun store gift cards? It's like, ah, he's so fucking out of it, bro. I don't think Bob Levy was making any money at all from compound media. If I recall, yeah, he was given a hundred to Brennan and Brennan would like use it to like pay for their costs. I think they would come in together a lot of the time. Sticker size. I mean, I got you. I got you. I'm a married man, ladies. Keep it in your pants. Wee. Um, we having fun yet? Are we Sponsors. having fun yet? Was part of taking a W. 
I mean, I wouldn't. It sounds a little gay. Aussie. It's definitely beneath me. Right. I mean, I would never do that to anyone. Uh, why? I would take his channel. <laughs> Bring this man down. For the lols of it. For the lols. <laughs> just for fu- not because- Just for fun. Well, you just want to ruin an innocent man? No, he's not innocent. That's the point. He's not innocent. He's not remorseful. He's still trying to do this thing where he loses severely. I've never seen a man crawling away, being beaten to a bloody pulp, leaving a trail of blood so much... And still yelling about how much he's winning and everybody else is insane. It's like, it's like he re- he thinks you're all dumb. He thinks we're all dumb. And again, you don't have to pick a side. But about this, it, look, I'm bullying the guy for sure. It's fun. I've been bullied. It's fun to be. You get bullied sometimes. There's a guy in Vegas right now who's bullying the fuck out of me. He only gets three views on everything, but it's bullying me nonetheless. He's spending a lot of time thinking about it and doing it. This is fine. You're allowed to bully. Bullying makes people humble. It makes people get their shit together. It's kind of good for you. Just bully. Just bully, bully, bully. I'm into it. Don't hurt people permanently, you know, unless it's like losing their business that's corrupt. If they have a corrupt business, then you can lose them their business. These are my rules. You'll, you can download them at nobodylikesonions.com slash rules. And I keep them there, so they'll be up to date. Because I care about them or the way they make a living. But it's a dirty trick that shows I couldn't annoy them. It shows I couldn't, you know, get the better No, it them, shows we're I smarter. Away from them. There's I have nothing I could do to them, so I got to do something to somebody they care about. Right. Now, also, what you don't realize is that you don't want to do that to Steel Toe. Because our sponsors are just fans of the show who know everything about us already. And not only that, I got bad news for you, boys. Our sponsors, if you decided to call them, this would not be the first time it's happened to them. Wouldn't be the 30th. He thinks I called Stonies. Uh, First of all, keep the $250 Stonies he's giving you every month. I don't care. No no one's after you because you have sponsors. We called Stonies because it's funny. But you can't tell me there's no media outlet in Minnesota that would care, would, wouldn't care about this. If you called up newspapers or news places and were like, hey, here's this DJ that um, was formerly caught harassing women is now ripping off his listeners with this, you know, whole corrupt gift card lottery scandal. I mean, people like clicks. Local news, sell. you know, you just said it yourself last week. The hottest news in your area is the mall might be closing. You can't tell me if I contacted bloggers and news people. They wouldn't want this fucking story, you fucking nut. I'm all for bullying bullies. Yeah, 100%. I'll make it where when you go to the grocery store to, to, to do wacky voices behind April like a fucking creep, that people are staring at you going like, aren't you the guy that rips everybody off? Cool, cool, cool. Stony sucks. And by the way, you're again, we're dealing with a guy who's so dumb, who's so dumb and new to the internet. He lit like if if I owned a bar that was sponsoring him, let's say I do like you. Let's say I own a bar at Stoney's, and I do like you. I think you can do no wrong. I don't care if you go racist. You know, he brings out this. He's so stuck in the past. He has a little racist step and fetch it doll. He like cringe, cringe shit, like old cringe shit. And let's say I don't care about any of that, which is fine. I think that's great. You find a sponsor that doesn't care about any of that. But then you go on and you go, yeah, I'm running an illegal contest and grifting people. I don't give a fuck. And guess what? My fucking sponsors love that shit. They don't care what I do. They'll do it. They don't care what I do. You think they're ever leaving me? Well, now, you know, now I might have to go leave a review at the at the thing about because look, it's one thing to be like, well, they support a show that I don't like, and you know, like whatever. But you're essentially speaking up for your sponsor right now, going like, 
Yeah, I run illegal contests in the chat room. They don't give a fuck. Good luck. It's like, ooh, I would hate all the reviews to be, this guy supports scams, this guy supports, you know, I'd hate that. Patrick, are you telling people to do that? I would never. <laughs> I don't care what you do. Fuck this guy. You think I give a fuck? By the way, go leave a fucking review at my sponsors. I decided a long time ago to not do that. You know, so how about the one ninety nine joining, you know, for the membership here? Thank you. Not that that supports me, but the overdose does. If you go join the overdose at nobodylikesonions.com. The one ninety nine gets you access to all the live shows. The minute they're done being live, if they're not going to be public, if they're not if they're bonus shows, they go up on the overdose. So you can watch on demand. And that's ten bucks a month. And it's not on Patreon. I built it all myself. It's just the overdose. We call it the overdose. Join the dose. That's what pays my bills. There's no stonies to call over here. Go leave a bad review for me on the app store. I don't give a shit. To, to who for what? <laughs> call my dad about it. He's dead. So now he's bragging about how his sponsor doesn't give a fuck what he does. It's like, he again... If I don't give a fuck about what you do, that's between us. Don't go on your show telling people, I don't give a fuck what you do. It's like, I don't know. If you're breaking the law, I do probably want to have a talk about it. <laughs> like, there's probably some line you could cross. If it started affecting his business, that would be, you know. Uh, NobodyLikesOnions.com slash overdose. I'll tell you what. I, this coupon will probably still work. I, I haven't done this, and I haven't made a new coupon code. 20% off. Use this promo code, Dillagaff. This is an old promo code, but it's still active, and I never do 20% off. That brings it down to $8 a month. That's the best way to support the show if you're into that. I haven't done this at all. I haven't plugged this at all during any of the, the Steel Toe stuff. But if you like what I do and you're really into it, and you, you, know, you give the $2 a month and you want to do more, this will make it $8 a month. Nobody likes onions.com slash overdose. Get you access to our entire back catalog to 2005. Thousands of hours of content, video, audio, special RSS feeds. If you want audio versions of all these shows, they come out straight to you. Audio versions, people listening at work and stuff. Save two bucks uh, off the 10 every month for as long as you renew. Dillagaff. It's a weird promo code, but it's another guy. An old man in a wheelchair we were picking on. So uh, that <laughs> it must be so weird to be a new a new fan of this show. It's like we're always going after somebody. And we turn half of them into fans. <laughs> the other half, six feet under, like steel toe. <laughs> it's Rick's competition. We get it. At least Rick tells you it's a scam. Dose me. Hashtag dose me. Wings are dope. Unfortunately, they only have pizza. Just wanted you to tell them the wings were great. That Stoney's call was hilarious. It was all right. And it wouldn't be the most times they've ever been contacted. So, oh, yeah. I've got the evidence of the gay ops right here. What I've, do got we a, have? I've got an email from Derek from uh -oh. Midland Armory. Now, I don't want to throw this up on the screen. Because I don't want to give you away. Give oh, Midland Armory is his sponsor. So, and again, this is what he's he's going to go. They, I don't, I didn't know mid, I didn't know the name of the place. So this definitely wasn't me. You know, I haven't contacted Midland Armory, but people are contacting the sponsors. It's great. Uh, but do you? You know, I'm not tell you. Do you? I'm. I, I don't tell other adults what to do with their own time. Get them. Um. But again, he thinks a defense for him giving out. Sorry, sell, I keep saying giving out because that's what he says. He's almost gaslighting me, you know. Um, he's saying that he's basically saying I can give away the the firearm related gift cards because this guy's a licensed dealer and he doesn't care. But I love that again. This will hurt your sponsors. You think like you bringing up and rubbing in people's face like they don't care what i do see it's like ah uh, my video editing skill says that i can make enough videos to make them care <laughs> it was personal stuff. email addresses and stuff like that uh derek sent me an email he says here is the email we received 
This shows they contacted us directly through the site instead of taking the time to actually hook, uh, look up our contact info. I thought about responding about how I thought it was hilarious, but I figured the best response may be no response at all. And he's absolutely right. Don't. So one of these people. The best who, response when someone accuses me of breaking the law and doing an illegal lottery is no response at all. Like several responses and taking down all the videos. You know, no response. I don't know. I, I'll say this. I don't think they come from the subreddit because I know that those people are firmly against gay ops. Mm -hmm. So it goes. Let me tell you, he, he keeps doing this, too. He used to plug the Steel Toe Boring Show as like good natured fun. They're all just fans taking the shit. Everyone in there keeps posting clips of Aaron going talking about people in the chat going like, oh, that guy, I know they're a fan. And then th that person runs the Steel Toe Boring Show Reddit, posts the clip and goes, no, I'm not, Aaron. We're making fun of you. <laughs> so he keeps doing this thing where all the guys over in this subreddit are fans and they're, they're, you know, they're firmly against doing all this stuff. And it's like, if gay ops is reporting crimes, we aren't. Like, so, you know. Knock it off, Gaslighter Extraordinaire. Came from one of the desperate podcasters who badly needs our attention and isn't getting it. Again, the bigger audience daddy over here. You got all these people trying to peck at you. You give them no oxygen. They can either Is do he trying to, like, gaslight April? Like, remember, I'm still daddy. I'm still in control. And she's like, yeah, but everybody hates you online. And, and he's like, yeah, they're just haters because we're growing. This is what happens when you grow. If you make her hate doing this. Does that sound like, by the way, does that sound like a husband defending a wife who's confident? He knows she's going to crack. He knows that she can be broken because he said that to somebody. He goes, I swear to God, if you make her fall out of love with doing this, it's like, so she's close then? Get her. Get her. Break her. Break her down. Yeah. One of two things. They either have to tap out and go, ah, we couldn't, we couldn't end him. Damn it, we failed. Or you go to gay ops. And when you go to gay ops, in my opinion, I do a little victory lap. That's a tap out on its own. In That's my, a tap in out my on book. its own. Uh, so this person pretending to be Sarah okay. said, just curious if you guys still spawn. If me calling out your crimes is, is an L, what is you deleting the videos of the crimes? <laughs> like, just, just curious. Smoke uh, weed every day. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hit the wrong button. We have a lot of graphics around here. <coughs> I almost died. <coughs> what just happened? Holy shit. What was I saying? What just happened? <laughs> Fucking hell. I just coughed. A fucking lung up. Jesus Christ. Ah. I do this for you guys. Jesus. 2 a.m. 1 a.m. 1.30 a.m. <laughs> like I was saying, what's the hierarchy of, uh, you know, victimhood here? How does it work? How does winning work? You said I robbed a bank, so I threw away the money. Idiot. <laughs> it's like, okay. I guess you win then? Sponsored the Steel Toe Show. If you have actually watched any of the programs, here are a few clips I don't think a sponsor would like. And where did the clips come from? Our own show? The subreddit. Oh, the subreddit. <laughs> oh, because, you know, the people on the subreddit only want stuff that makes us look good. And they won't dig up any dirt they can from whoever. I can, no, I can say this about the subreddit. I know at least the guy who runs it, mm -hmm. he is 100% against gay ops. Oh, I'm sure he's against gay ops, but my point is the So the guy who runs the subreddit is like, clip the videos and send them everywhere. Get them out. So, again, this is just lies that he can... It's, it's literally like... I, there, I don't know... I have thin, little thin arms? Is that what you're saying, you fucking idiot? Uh, Mike, Mikey Bauer moment. 
Like they did a Chad for months. Yeah, that's a good good point. Wash your hands of it and then talk about it every day. It's like, again, there's no measurable criteria here that would give you a, a win. You guys washed your hands of it last Friday 10 days ago. You washed your hands of this. And you've only talked about it 300 times since then. So, what's go? Who's the Spurgs? Who's the people who can't let it go? Like, if someone said I was committing a crime on my show and I wasn't, I'd do one big segment where we laughed about it and then move on. You talk about every day how they're after you. Everybody's after. And by the way, if you're so good, why is everyone after you? And the way they're after you is just like asking questions about a contest you run. And you're like, they're trying to ruin my life. <laughs> it's like, in a way. Wash your hands with your thin arms. Ha ha ha. Yes. Little thin arms. Get your CPAP machine plugged in. Your forearms don't fit your butt. This is mean. Is this the ops? This is. I've never been torn apart like this frankly i haven't even been smoking weed tonight or drinking nothing i'm sharp i brought my pen up here but i haven't yet we may be getting to that point but I, you think i'm gonna be sit here and bullied by jack and his beanstalk get the fuck out of here hollingsworth <laughs> jay gets so high subreddit the whole point is we want to trash these people let's grab every bad thing we can find yeah. so obviously they went right to the source of where they yeah. could get the worst they could get so this is uh one of the emails and one of the phone calls that they got so we can show imagine doing this as a segment on, on your show drawing attention to all this, this is so insane oh now that our starving of oxygen completely worked because all of these people who are desperate for daddy's attention are now reverting to gay ops. So three times he's called himself daddy now. You tell me if he's having a mental breakdown. People who are stable don't act like this. <laughs> he's losing it, man. Cancel culture tactics. So I figured what I would do, Johnny. What's that? I, I got to get ahead of this shit. Right. Uh, I, I, I got to get ahead of this shit, and I got to call our advertisers and uh, let them know because I'm terrified that we might lose them. Oh, he's doing a bit. He's doing a bit. He's got a plan skit, and he's about to do a bit. We got a guy who's about to do a bit. He knows how to do bits. He writes funny bits, and he's got a lot of skits and sketches and bits. You know what I mean? He's about to do a bit. It's going to be a really funny little skit. I don't care about it, but it's not good behavior. It's going to be bad. So. Yeah, we, we can't lose. De uh, Derek and Tracy have been with this program forever. So let's say, let's call uh, Derek from Midland Armory. Let's see if he's available. I know he's very busy. But Again, uh, this is all smoke and mirrors. Just like as he does this, which think, you know, his listeners are watching this radio show. They're going like, um, oh, they're going to call the sponsor and prove this is all nothing. The sponsor's going to get on the phone and go like, we're with you. We stand with Steel Toe. Ha, 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 ha. This guy sounds like a loser. See, we're all good. These guys are haters, and they're mentally ill, everybody. Case closed. And it's like, I don't care if you have a dumb sponsor who thinks you're good. <laughs> Address what we're asking. We're asking about giving out, sorry, again, selling the cards in the chat. It's all distractions from the real issues and questions we're act we're asking. We're like, admit that you're giving away McNuggets. He's like, they're saying that like McDonald's doesn't have McNuggets. And then they call him McDonald's like, do you have McNuggets? And they're like, yeah. And they're like, see, they do have McNuggets. Case closed. And we're like, yeah, but we're saying you're giving out the McNuggets. Like, it just doesn't. I don't know why this went to McNuggets, but you get the point. I'm going to say it, but that email looks suspect just on its own. Yeah, it really like does. Just <laughs> what does that even mean? Hey, that email looks suspect. It's like, great commentary, crutches. And also, hello. oh, hello. Is Look this at this body language. Look at this body language. This is defensive. 
This this is so telling. This might as well be April. This is what April does all show now. Just soothes herself. This is not a strong position. This is not a person who believes what he just said. Get any body language expert in here. Like what do you like in what world is this guy the power move now? <laughs> Derek from Midland Armory in Foley, MidlandArmory.com. Yes, it is. Hi, Derek. It's uh, Aaron from Steel Toe. I'm sorry to be calling you like this, but, um, uh, you know, I, I saw that uh, some people have contacted you about how terrible of a guy I am. And, uh, Derek, I just want to let you know, if this has to be the end of the line, I understand, but I have to admit this to you, and it may come as so a... So this is this theatrical piece right here. Um, while maybe entertaining for the radio, this this is for me. This is for us. This is this is to signal to us, hey guys, just so you know, the sponsors don't care. So you shot the king and you missed. And it's like, we don't care that you have small town out of its sponsors. Oh, uh, hey, is this Greg from Midland Armory over off Sahara and Fremont? It's like no one... No one cares that you have a little yokel local shithole who you fooled. You have a chat full of them every day. This guy's running a business and doesn't have the full story. And again, you're making up a straw man and beating him. You know, this is what he does. He literally like makes up a fight that's not even like in question and then wins it in front of you and then goes like, see? Defeated the haters. Take my W. And it's like, no one cares about your sponsorship with Midland Armory. <laughs> no one. No one. We're talking about you selling gift cards to your chat room and saying they're giveaways and prizes. So you don't think Midland Army will sponsor me? Here we go. It's like, that's not. It's like, it's the, again, his dumbest fans will watch that and go like, wow, he showed those guys. He doesn't give a fuck. And it's like, no one's mad about that. So we're, just remember that as you watch this. This is all fake as fuck. This is all smoke and mirrors, and this is not the issue. It's so dumb. He won't ever address the real issue. Where are the rules and how do I enter for free? Oh, you don't think I have a sponsor who will stick with me? Watch this. What? No, where are the rules and how do I enter for free? Let's call Midland Armory right now. I heard you guys are going to have to get rid of me. No, where are the rules and how do I enter for free? And the same goes for Stonies, everybody. We'll see you next week. It's like, okay, you're fucking out of it. Shock. Um, I do some horribly racially and sexually uh offensive material See, so remember he started this out talking about the the contest then it went to like well they're being bringing my family into this and kids and now it's so i do racially and sexually explicit stuff it's like what's the fight you're involved in because you're just distracting everybody at all costs everything except the real thing what is the rules of the contest where are they posted and how do i enter so i heard you're upset about some racist stuff i said it's like this guy can't can't do it he cannot do it it's so insane to a not be able to shut the fuck up about something that you said you were going to shut the fuck up about 10 days ago and to also not be able to address the real thing at all because if you just addressed the real if he came on and went we didn't have rules. We didn't know that that's how it had to be run. We misread the YouTube stuff. I don't want to be in violation. This is really scary stuff. We've taken down all those shows. We're rethinking prize night. And when we come back, we will be compliant. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. That's what a real, you know, you're a real show, right? That's what a real show does. No, 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 no. I called you guys out because your vegetarian hamburgers have meat in them. And then you called up Impossible and said, they don't think you guys have vegetarian hamburgers. <laughs> Tell them. It's like, that's not the argument. Don't let these guys jingle keys over here and distract you.
That's not the argument. Real. And, uh, boy, I tell you what, I'm just really sorry. You know, that's what I'm hearing now, and I don't know. We might have to reevaluate this because so I- like, Listen to that guy. He's a Minnesota idiot, too. Oh, I don't know. We're probably going to have to reevaluate, you guys. I was thinking we could take care of it right here in Brainerd. I don't know. I don't watch I know he likes movie reference. All the time, but oh. it sounds like things are getting a little out of hand. So. Oh, no, Derek. I don't know. You can't reconsider. So remember, I mean, he set this up over email. So I'm going to call you. I'm going to say that. And then you go, yeah, you, you'll you say you're getting a little out of hand. Like, they planned this. Look at crutches. Just like, <sighs> can't wait to get my 50. <laughs> I mean, then these terrorists, they win, Derek. Is, is this what, again, a minute ago his arms were crossed, and this is his, half the time this is this dude's body language. Just like, he's begging for money again, okay. <laughs> you can't do this. I mean, I Derek, I can change my show. I mean, we can we can, we can, can level it out a little bit. We can, we can do whatever you need. Just don't leave me. Well, I don't know. Don't, isn't there still my pillow? I mean, come on. No, no, we don't have a. No, there's no close to the lid on that clam a while ago. You see, about a year. Oh, shit. You see, about a year well, and I a half. I'm behind in the chat. Yeah, about a year and a half, two years ago, I did a really funny Mike Lindell impression about how you can use their products for gay. How in the hell did he shoehorn a, another video link into this conversation? Sex, and apparently uh, that got back to Mike, and he was not happy about it. My God, I'm I'm really I'm gonna have to reconsider this and think about it. You're gonna have to give me some time. I don't know, man. This is uh Oh no this, Go this ahead. sounds like you're just running rogue. Oh no, this is not good. All right, well uh I, I, I tell uh, this is one of the creepiest things I've ever fucking watched. This this is one of the hardest copes I've seen in a long time. Again, they're not even have you noticed? They're not even talking about the thing anymore. Like, what is he doing? What is he doing? This is crazy. It's crazy. They're live on air in two hours. Will we still be here? New membership drive, guys. We're trying to hit the goal. We have 22 new members tonight. If we could hit 30 by the end of the fourth quarter, then we'll go into overtime. <laughs> The fourth quarter is what he, he should call his show quarters. Tell you what, Derek, we're going to do everything we can to keep your business. Because I, I got to tell you, if there's one thing I'm terrified of, it's uh, it, it's it's absolutely people writing to you and telling you that I'm offensive and all. Let me tell you what you are scared of. Losing sponsors, liar. <laughs> I mean, you are scared of losing sponsors. Right? You lost a sponsor and had to fire a bunch of your guys. So you are scared of losing sponsors. I get it. These two guys you went to high school with own businesses and they're throwing you five hundo. If you think this is going to keep up, I don't care how dumb your local yokel business friends are. Stoney's Bar is going to figure out. That them advertising to people all over the world via YouTube and a guy <laughs> isn't doing anything. When someone gets hired there that knows anything about advertising budgets and social media or any of that shit, they're going to go, hey, for half the price, you could just do targeted ads on Facebook. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, there's no point. There's no fucking point in doing this kind of shit. Like, it's crazy. It's like, again, this guy's like, how many months do you think Stoney's is going to keep forking over 600 bucks? Like, in what world? What is the return Stoney's is seeing from advertising on Steel Toes Morning Show? It's like they're going to have their uh, nine-year celebration of the show at Stoney's in August and fly Gino Bisconte out, you know, and have some circle jerk. It's like, okay, Stoney's is going to make tens of dollars that night. It's like, what is Stoney? Do you think Stoney's is really getting back to 500 or whatever they're spending a month? Plus all the gift cards. What? 
what's happened? Stoney's sponsorship might just be the gift cards. This guy's not doing well. Like, Stoney's sponsorship could just be the $300 in gift cards. He's like, oh. And he makes his $64 selling them to his chat. Awful, because you definitely do not know that. Isn't that right? No, I did. I, I had no idea. I'm just shocked. I tell you, it's completely shocked. You you thought that this was a good, wholesome Christian program. Well, yeah, I did. You know, steel toe. You know, you're out there to you know appease the uh, hardworking American man. So we're just blue collar people. We're just blue collar, yeah, honest exactly. guys. Yeah. Now exactly. You, so now you find out. So during the middle of his giant cope rant, he lets it slip there a little bit. Did you hear that? He goes. They go, you thought we were a Christian show. And he goes, yeah, I thought you guys were just a show for the blue collar guy. And he goes, yeah, you thought we were just honest guys, huh? Uh Uh-oh. In the middle of this sketch you're doing about the show that you're not, you say honest? You thought we were honest guys. Did you hear Aaron say it? They're doing a sketch about what they're not. And he said, you thought we were like just honest guys. Ooh. Play it back. Shocked, I tell you. It's completely shocked. You you thought that this was a good, wholesome Christian program. Well, yeah, I did. You know, steel toe, you know, you're out there to, you know, appease the uh, hardworking American man. So We're just blue-collar people. We're just blue-collar, yeah, honest exactly. guys. Yeah, now yeah we're just blue-collar, honest guys. <laughs> wow. Wow. Freudian? When does a show have the fun they pride themselves on? Yeah, they do planned segments. When is one? Exactly. So now you find out that we're a bunch of demons. Now, Derek, I do want to ask you one thing before we go here. Uh, the clips they sent you, were they at least funny? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> All right, Derek. What a fucking weird cope. So, like, you know, a normal person would be like, you know, we got a lot of people contacting our spot. First of all, why bring this up? You're just giving more people the idea. He's so, I don't even mind saying this and him seeing it. He's so dumb that he can't stop talking about this attack. Sending people into questioning what's going on, where can I find more. It's bananas. Like, shut the fuck up about it, Aaron. Like, stop. And then instead of even just going like, just so you know, our sponsors are behind us 100%. He plans this wacky sketch out i mean it's one of the craziest things i've ever seen a a grown man do (laughs) eric thank you very thank you very much buddy we'll see you soon yeah take care all right bye (laughs) we're gonna get that guy we'll call his advertisers in his mind he just dropped a mic in his mind he's like fuck that's gonna be a clip (laughs) <laughs> Boy, I tell you, nothing like a good W to work some gay ops. By the way, Midland Armory in downtown Foley, Minnesota, or as Lemmy just put in the chat there, MidlandArmory.com. Use the promo code Steeltoe. That's MidlandArmory.com. If you're ever in downtown Foley, Minnesota, and why would you be? Use promo code. It's like... Imagine walking into this armory and being like, Steel Toe sent me. They'd just be like. (laughs) Midland fucking armory. Promo code Steel Toe. You'll save big money on your next order of firearms, uh, tactical gear. He's doing it again. He's doing it again. This is not legal on on YouTube, he's doing it again. This is against YouTube terms of service for monetized content. He's doing it again. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is tonight's show. This is up, right? I'm I'm triggered and may have to go report it. He's doing it again. He's doing a read for firearms. Suppressors and so much more. Holy shit. Go check out the website. The link is right there in the chat. Again, use that promo code Steeltoe for our friends. Wow. This is nuts. You have to be 
that the one side taps out and you're still losing rounds? I mean, at this point. So, again, uh, you know, I, this is wild. You'd have to be wild to give this guy a W in any column. And all day, every day, he just. And what's crazy is the juxtaposition. You know, when the cameras are off, him and April are just like, you think we're going to have to worry about this? Is this going to be a thing? Like, is this going to be a problem? Should we take the videos down? If we take the videos down, then it's going to look like we're guilty. Yeah, but if we leave them up, somebody from YouTube could see them. It's like, yeah, that too. It's like, do you think when you delete them that they really get deleted from YouTube? Do you think they can't see them? <laughs> you fucking idiots. You don't think they back up the internet? <laughs> fucking hell. And you don't think, like, the people who are calling you out, you don't think they've already pulled them? You don't think we already have all the videos? We have the video. We have the meat. I give them a W in the column of having a real fun show. So Aaron goes from business to business trying to get sponsors in person. At that point, he might as well just get a real job. Yeah, it's like, who's your next sponsor? Some local copy repair guy? Like, what the fuck is going on? Your two sponsors are a shitty restaurant down the street called called Stoney's. Again, we have a rolling joke on this show about a company named Rick's that's our sponsor for things like Bring Your Own Ranch Night. They have the world's first only ranch water slide. We have all these bits we do. Again, you know, Bring Your Own Meat Night down at Rick's, Rings and Wings. We got the uh, Race for the Cure. Down at Rick's, the new Vegeta boots, they're all lettuce. Down at Rick's. It's a bit, it's a joke about having such a shitty sponsor. Imagine like if my sponsor was a shitty bar in town, Rick's. It's a bit. He's like, not so fast, Patrick. <laughs> not so fast. Have you ever considered actually just getting a local sponsor? They could sell dozens of beers off the back of your internet show. Imagine if I advertise this Rick's place. And by the way, I live in Vegas, which is a tourist destination. The odds that, uh, you know, 50% of you at a minimum in my chat will come to Vegas at some point in your life is pretty good. <laughs> the, the odds that any of you are ever in downtown Foley looking for ammo. If you are, something's gone horribly, horribly wrong, and they're probably not open. You know, you're in some sort of weird Walking Dead-like scenario. And in that case, you don't need a permit. Just take it. The egg roll claw machine needs, <laughs> needs some promo. Deleting them is odd. It does nothing besides let people know you ate, you are at least worried. Making them private would show you're worried. Deleting them means you think you... These are like the kind of guys who, like, when they get caught for SEC fraud, would start shredding documents. They think, like, that's how it works. We'll just delete the videos. No one will ever know we had a prize night. I'm sure no one has them saved. It's like, okay. Do you think, before I bring something up, we don't pull down the thing we're going to make fun of? Like, you're going to go change your website at some point, too, because we've ripped it apart. Do you think we haven't saved it all? Do you think the Internet Archive isn't a thing? Again, I know you don't because you don't know how the, anything on the Internet works. You just lied to one group. You lied to other groups. I put the video up. I've never said one word about his transphobic kids. They're probably trans because you're a bad dad. You turned them trans. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Again, do I care about the trans joke? No, I care about the hypocrisy. A little bit. Patrick, you get a sponsor from the Taj Mahal. <laughs> He's just greedy and stupid. I, I agree. I think that's what it is. But those guys, but those guys are, you know, are some of the most, you know, not to steal Aaron's words, the dangerous guys. He's a slick talker. He talks very quickly. We went through the the th you know things to look for as part of a scam. And it's all there. It all fits the bill. Act quickly. You're going to miss the opportunity. Confusing rules. 
this much for that. What's that? For the five, for the 10, for the 25, for the 50, and the one for the 10. What? I bet over 50% of live listeners are local. 200 people followed him from radio. Yeah, I mean, most of the people I imagine followed him from radio. Then he's got a lot of like, again, there's just a lot of simps. <laughs> there are just a lot of like, and don't get me wrong. You know, I want I want super chats. I want people to, you know, help support the show. Join the YouTube channel. Go join the Overdose. Buy a hat. By the way, we sold more fucking hats in the past two weeks than we've ever fucking sold. It's crazy. Um, We don't even have good hats right now. <laughs> uh, But. You know, I'm telling you what you're getting. Like, you're not, this isn't a drawing. There's not a contest. I'm a small YouTuber. I need your support. I appreciate your support. I don't want to take advantage of it. I don't want to, you know, take it for granted. The, I can't imagine thinking that I can reach the $700 goal with 500 live viewers every day and then having meltdowns we'll finish this video i think one of the videos in this subreddit is him just having a complete melty he fakes panic attacks somebody said he fakes panic attacks when when he doesn't reach his goal which is crazy i do have to see it we'll, we'll watch the rest i'll stop trying to interrupt it point <laughs> you could have taken the tap out as the win right you could have been like ha huh? Drove them off. Like, that's the number one thing when you stop fucking with people because you're like, you know what? You're not fun anymore. You're you got, this too seriously. You I'm got back so out. crazy. That this guy's real voice. You know, you couldn't, you're not even fun anymore. You're going to tap out and you can't even go. That. that can't be a real guy. You ran me off and you still somehow lost. It's amazing. Like, to so, me. It, it just didn't, like, I've never seen a guy run faster away from everybody and scream about the, the win. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Whose scoreboard are you looking at, you fucking dope? Does he does he do this to April after his boxing matches? Does he go like, did you see me win? And she's like, you were on the ground with a bloody lip. And he's like, yeah, that's how you win. Let's go get some ice cream. <laughs> me. Because I, I don't know how much you know. About uh, they do not like gay ops. That'll, that'll, that'll uh, you know, push you off to the side. What internet are you looking at? You know what they don't like? Scams. They don't like scam men. <laughs> Quicker than anything else. So uh, good luck. Now he's telling, telling everybody how the internet works. You know what the internet doesn't like? It's like banners, bad comics, holes. What doesn't the internet like? Being lied to? Scams? wives on the radio what doesn't the internet like i'm confused uh zero dark tony says they actually went to your uh, for your sponsors how lame huge l for the gay ops yeah big time i mean they were advertising it on their shows like you should call this one and that like they were as desperate to call our sponsors as we are desperate to hit our goal at the end of the day today I, nobody did that like their show nobody did that nobody goes call midland armory in downtown fucksville nobody said that relied on it <laughs> got a lot of shows now relying on steel toe and i gotta tell relying you on getting the what gay ops through i gotta tell my children daddy's not very proud of you gay ops are not a good way to get daddy's attention it'll just lead to mockery and I people won't like you told them i have a theory that you know nobody is as good as making the thumbnails and the videos about steel toe as me other people are doing it too, though. This uh, the in the paint guys are fucking tearing him a new asshole. They make some really good stuff, but until I came along, this started snowballing, and now when you search Steel Toe Morning Show, my videos pop up, and he's starting to panic because your children are gonna look you up one day. The same way that Opie's kids cringe every time he goes live. <laughs> not again. You're not Opie, Dad. You're not Opie anymore, Dad.
You're 62. <laughs> so imagine looking up your old dad's steel toe titty show, and he's just getting pwned on the net over and over and over and over. And like, fuck. That's brutal, dog. My daughter that, and she started dating women. Oh, no, she took it the wrong <laughs> she way. She took the gay ops full you're not, force. Look, you're not supposed to. You, she misunderstood. You uh, misunderstood. You guys got to communicate I'm an better. idiot. She's my kid. Odds are good she is, too. Oh, and uh, by the way, absolutely call Cheetos at Stoney's because he, if he finds out that we're offensive. Oh, Jesus Christ. He'll drop us at a high. So, he, again, remember, he started this whole thing with the lottery. Then it went to, like, they're bringing family and kids into it, gay ops. Then it went to, like. So stop. So you think that's going to get us calling them and telling them that we're offensive? Good luck. It's like, even when we called it from Chad's on Chad's show as a joke, like nobody called up and went, did you know they're being offensive? He's fighting ghosts. He's making up an enemy, defeating them and telling you he won. It's like, no one's calling anyone telling them you're uh, you're offensive and racist. No one. Everyone knows that. It's well documented on the internet. With your little black puppet doll. The way you clap like a seal after you do an impression, you look over at April. <laughs> it's like, oh, Jesus. Look at her face next time you do that, too. She's going, huh, huh, I get it. In that cowboy, I, I remember. Right, the Matrix, I know. Oh, yeah, Demolition Man, I know. Every impression, every shitty movie you've made her sit through as she wastes her good years. 25 to 30, 25 to 35, she's going to spend with you? Ugh. I This show has... The April the April and, and Aaron Imholt show has less than a year, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Predict it. The marriage has less than five. I think kind of less than two. She's got to snap out of it. And, you know, these young girls, like, fall in love with these radio guys. It's so easy to get hypnotized by this. And trust me, I know. And it's just like, this isn't a life she wants. She wanted to be a veterinarian. She wanted to help animals. And here she is now trying to be like a tough bad bitch on the radio. Meanwhile, she's crumbling. She's rubbing herself. She's perma frowning now. She's wearing glasses. She's not even trying to fix herself up. It's bad. It's it's falling apart, man. And there's no de denying it. I don't These shows I again it shows such a lack of awareness for how the internet works cuz this is all going to make Mwah. later it's like everything he said about the contest being legit looks dumb as fuck now because you know and i know i'm right he knows i'm right which is why the videos are fucking gone now and now everything you did about how you're legit and trustworthy and you know we're full of shit and he's following all the rules like now we all know that's garbage and not real one of the things that made me lose respect for Aaron is the resurfaced 2015 tweet showing Aaron clearly understood Kumi was a piece of shit for assaulting women. I don't even remember that. I don't know what Kumi did. If that's true, that's crazy. But I did see that on the Reddit. So somebody called Aaron out and was like, because Aaron posted this tweet about Kumi and saying, you're a piece of shit. There's no excuse. You're a bad guy. And then now... That he has a chance to get on Kumi's network. You're dreaming! <laughs> um, he's just sucking Kumi's ass, being racist. I'm sure if Kumi had told him to beat the fuck out of April, he would. <laughs> You're doing God's work, Patrick. I don't know about all that. Um, Let's finish this one up. Let's go. He's already on the edge, you yeah. know? We're only going out there every time we do a comedy show every year. I, I, I tell you what, if uh, you contact Cheetos and you tell them that we're an offensive place, oh, I don't know. Eh. So, again, he's he's almost trying to get you to do that. Like, please focus on this. 
Yeah, well, I dare you to message him and tell him I'm offensive. It's like, again, no one's doing that. No one's doing that. We're asking, how do you enter the contest for free? Yeah, you think you're going to lose my sponsors? No, the contest. The contest. He's just jingling. Look over here. Don't, you know, this is. It's, it doesn't make any sense. That's going to be bad. I mean, when you go he to. He thinks a, you're dumb. When you he, go to Stoney. He thinks you're dumb. That amazing bar. All you can think is these are people who don't fuck around with somebody who's like a little risky in terms of <laughs> social commentary. Uh, I have so a, Johnny Crutches just said that Stoney's was a shithole. <laughs> you know, when you go to Stoney's, you really think about people who are upstanding citizens. <laughs> oh, I get it. A garbage fire. Voicemails I need to get through, says Derek. I sure hope there aren't any hate voicemails. <laughs> Guys, our own advertisers are laughing at you. Oh, man. My God says, I just contacted Raleigh's. Our own advertisers are laughing at me. Stoney's is laughing at me? Who? Guys, Stoney's is laughing at you. It's like, okay. See you on prize night. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. See, <laughs> I should do won't re- care either. This, should- this is some of the cringest, craziest shit I've ever seen. Like, this is wild. <laughs> to do reads for fake businesses. <laughs> They're both falling down laughing at this fake thing they made up that nobody's doing to them. Once we don't like. Yes. The blue line in Sartell is a wonderful place to go. Do you see what they're working with here? This show is brought to you by the St. Cloud Times for another <laughs> week. <laughs> <clears throat> They're killing this themselves. Is brought to you by Unite Cloud. <laughs> Contact Natalie Ringsmith with all your uh, ideas of equality. Because so now they're just naming local businesses. Like call these guys. These guys are sponsors. These guys are sponsors. And it's like, and they're just naming like this is them like dreaming big. <laughs> like they're naming like. What if we had the St. Cloud Times? It's like, God, dare to dream. Jot it in your me and you memory shoebox. <laughs> I mean, this is wild. And then they're falling down laughing. They're cracking themselves up so much. Imagine being a guy in Shreveport, Louisiana, going like, what are they? What's happening? I found this show. I'm looking for a new morning entertainment program. What is this? What are they talking about? Gay? Bullets? I think I'm going to move on. Like, imagine what they're doing to their real core audience with all this cope. Eventually, everyone's going to snap out of it. Even Lemmy and just go like, what What are we doing? What's? I thought this was a fun show, but now it's all about bullets and pizza? <laughs> they love to hear them. Oh, man. Unite Cloud. When we talk about bringing people together, we start by kicking out all the Somalians. <laughs> <laughs> a racist oh, joke for fun. fantastic. Yeah. Kicking out Somalians. I mean, imagine yeah. me just sitting here, tapping out, taking my L, and all of a sudden, I'm winning it. I, I don't understand it. I don't even have it. If I would have known this, I would have been doing nothing but my show the entire time. I walked away, and I'm winning harder? I didn't know it could be this easy. This is wonderful. Jesus. Why the uh, fuck you fans, lying? Why you always Twitter. lying? Oh, my God. Stop fucking lying. Twitter works. I was trying to be funny on Twitter, and I just ended up pissing off Lemmy. I was like, no, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about... Ah, uh, fuck me. Mr. Approachable, did you slip on the ice and hurt your back? Go see Dr. Dave at Accelerate Chiropractic <laughs> to get yourself an adjustment. Hey, are, do you need uh, do you need to fill your food tank, but you don't have a lot of money and a lot of time? What the Nobody fuck? better than Hardee's. Go to your local Hardee's. <laughs> He's still beating this bit, oh, this man. fucking bit. This is uh, that is fun. That it was so great, guys. That, that was fun. Oh. And then to have wow. Derek basically laugh at me, like, sends it to me and goes, can you believe what these tards are doing now? And then I wrote back to him, like, we should do a funny call. It'll be the hilarious. Remember, this is the overtime that everybody paid for. This is their overtime. And that's the thing I love. Like, we've we've got our, our advertisers down to literally the ones who are here are here because they want to. Let me be- ask you this. When is Tiny Tim going to die here? You know, I've had about enough of this whisper girl voice. And that's the thing that, you know, I, I liked this guy, but now it's just like 
You sat here and laughed at all dumb Aaron's skits. <laughs> you got to go. Here. Yeah. So we don't have to worry like, oh, I don't know. I hope the show's like, no, dude, I love this thing. This is great. Imagine you do gay ops and you're and, and which is going to, you know, get you ostracized from the Internet. But then you do gay ops so poorly that you do it wrong, it backfires, and my sponsors tattle on you to me. <laughs> and these are the people who are hate-watching this show. You think you would know who you're dealing with, both content and sponsor-wise. Yes. Now he's double-owning us. He's like, not only did my sponsors show you they don't care that I'm offensive, you should know who you're dealing with. You thought that was how to get us for being offensive? And it's like, how do I enter the contest for free? And where are the rules? Ha ha, you didn't get us for being offensive. It's like, fuck, man. I've, I've never seen someone just make up garbage over here for a win. It's like, yeah, did you guys know that I just won the, the award for sitting in this chair for the most time today? <laughs> it's like. Yeah, no one was up for that. That's not an award that anyone's winning, dummy. No one's after you for this. Your own fans are in here going, you never took an L, you smug fuck. Pep, uh, pepperoni 5.56 and pineapple is pretty good. Get out of town. You're full of nonsense. Mr. Approachable says, this year's comedy show brought to you by One Mike Entertainment. Oh, Good stuff. Oh, guys, that was a lot of fun. By the way, <laughs> for us. <laughs> guys, that was a lot of fun, right? Right, guys? Items now to be clipped out for later. He. This is fun. Wow. So then at the end of that, he goes, all right, that's two items that I'll have for clipping out later. He talks to his audience about what he's going to clip out. Look forward to that clip later, guys. It's like, oh, yeah, we watched it live. We got to come back and see the clip. We got to see the clip. Oh, God. He's going to. Guys, did you hear? He's going to clip it. Ooh. The thing he made up. <laughs> uh, cool boy says it's getting hard to even hate watch Aaron at this point. I, you know, I agree. Only I don't. Um, so that's that. Okay. It's 2.14 a.m. I think we're going to wrap this show i'm not going anywhere we are going to continue i'm going to wrap this show up this will be a free show on youtube for everybody to watch and participate in but if you would like to uh watch the next show we're gonna stay up i'm gonna go down and check my my pork shoulder and pull it off the uh smoker we're going to stay up. We're going to watch Steel Toe go live at 4 a.m. That's in an hour and 45 minutes. What do I do until then, Patrick? Don't worry. I'm going to be back. I need 15 minutes, 30 minutes. So on the Nobody Likes Onions channel, which, again, if you have not subscribed to, please hit subscribe. We're trying to beat Aaron in our goal. Hit subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the bell. And go back to the channel. Now, this next show that I'm starting will be members only. This has been members only chat. Everyone can watch. I understand we're going to lose a large portion of you. I'm fine with that. I've been doing I almost made myself ill doing this. So I don't think $2 is a lot to ask. I appreciate everybody who's given. But I also, you know, I run a business here and I do have to give my premium subscribers content or they start getting antsy it's bad enough that this stuff has been delayed on the feed uh for so long it started dripping out last night it'll continue to uh finally got it all processed and ready to go out on the rss's but uh i am a one-man band i'm a one-man operation over here i'm not aaron i don't have an april i don't have a johnny crutches i don't have a Corey adam i don't have a Stonies or a Midland Armory or a St. Cloud Times or any of that stuff to get it going. So I really do uh, do it all myself and appreciate the time. I don't want to fucking grift and beg. Uh, we'll be here. So I think it's worth $2 for the entertainment. Um, come check out the new show. That'll pop. The new show will pop up probably in about five minutes. Give me time to make a thumbnail and um, create the show. And put it up, and then I'm going to go down and do my stuff. But I'll start streaming on it so people can find it. 
and then we'll make it members only. So join the channel. Just click the join button over at nobodylikesonions.com. Sorry. YouTube.com slash nobody likes onions. Uh, Stephanie says not subscribing is chaos. Uh, you really are good at this, Patrick. It's great. Thank you. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Cool voice as hell. Yeah. Um, and everybody else who checked it out, uh, there's plenty of free stuff on the channel. If you haven't watched all six volumes, it's over 20 hours of just my whole discovery. It even goes back further than that before the Steel Toe Shine Box series. Um, to my first video, Steel Toe versus Chad Zumok. You'll see me more on Chad's side. Then the next one, uh, Steel Toe Destroys Nobody Likes Onions. And then we start the Steel Toe Shine Box series. And you can follow how this all developed up into this point where this man is crumbling and screaming, I won, I won, as he melts into the goddamn earth. Um, is this the overtime can rattle? Yeah, this is my can rattle. Please join the channel. Do the super chats. Give me the money. Nobody likes onions.com slash tips. I'm your dad. Thanks for coming. Uh, see you on the next show. We're going to start in about five minutes. Look for it. Refresh the channel. You'll see it. Bye. Hey, you want to see the rest of this show? Head over to the overdose at nobody likes onions.com slash overdose. I've been doing this for a long time. And when you join the overdose for just $10 a month, you get access to our entire archive. If you're enjoying the steel toe stuff, you're going to love the rest of it. All of my deep, deep dives from Dan Ninen to Ty Rivera and so much more late night shows, bonus stuff. And again, access to our entire back catalog to 2005 videos, audios, and of course your own RSS feeds for all the shows and all the bonus content to come right to your device to listen to audio, or you can just log in and watch the videos. Nobodylikesonions.com slash overdose. Members are supporting me directly and helping me out, and I give back to you by giving you entertainment. Also, members save 15% on all merchandise at the Nobody Likes Onions store. Head over to nobodylikesonions.com slash overdose now and join today to see everything on demand.